What's up? <laughs> How you guys doing? Welcome on in. Time for some more uh, tinfoil, th uh, tinfoil hat theories. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. Hopefully uh, your week has been good. You are enjoying the weekend. It's good times. <laughs> tinfoil hat hours indeed. <laughs> Hey, drop. How you doing? And Blue Mage, Moon, IRL, Twitchy, Tom, everybody. Good old fucking uh, Zarek and Burb being fucking trolls. <laughs> As per the normal. So yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good day, though. And uh, ready for some more Final Fantasy VII. I'm thinking uh, we're probably going to be knocking out a good chunk of stuff today. Um, hopefully getting to some of the spicy bits. So... <laughs> We'll see where it all falls. <laughs> How you guys doing though? Yeah, and I uh, I was stuck over doing some uh, siege with picks. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, it's kind of where things go there, right? <laughs> picks is just like, hey, you should come play this game with me. And I'm like, I've never played it before, but sure. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Yeah, I hear to troll you too, right, Dev? I swear, I swear. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I know we can, I don't know. It's it's cursed at this point. We weren't able to get our uh, family collab going, but hopefully we can get that planned again here soon. So we just, <laughs> there's, there's so many things that keep going wrong with it. <laughs> it's like as if they don't want us to fucking murder random people <laughs> when we're trying to be doctors. But still, uh, we'll figure out a, another time for the family collab and go from there. Uh, past that, we're just going to be hanging out and doing this today. And then tomorrow, we're going to be doing some more DVD with Dixper. And next week i have one or two collabs that we have going on um we normally would do final fantasy on thursdays but we have thursday set up for a collab with uh ramaya picks and kitty for dbd so we have to take the chance to get picks into dbd it's just <laughs> it's important so we'll probably go ahead and push final fantasy to saturday of that week as well and then we'll go back to the normal thursdays but I mean, imagine picks in DBD. That's all I gotta say. Actually, you know what? No, I can do better than that. Where did I have that? Uh, here. Enjoy that. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> this is what you have to look forward to on Thursday. <laughs> That's, it is beautiful it is fucking beautiful <laughs> put that shit on repeat and that is gonna be thursday <laughs> so yeah we'll we'll adjust accordingly but i'm gonna try to get her yeah the unending picks it's like she just died that was the first time she saw pig and it was just like, this is great. <laughs> actually, you know what? Let me see. Can I actually get that set up? Maybe I can. Uh, if I go over here and maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Please. All right. Let me see if I can actually get this where it needs to be. Because I want to have this actually show. Um. Da, 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 da. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Hmm. Where was it? I'm trying to get stuff set because Pix said that she was going to come over here and I want to have this set up and ready. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. It's going to be real good. All right. Here. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this beautiful fucking thing. Look at it. 
All right, does it actually have sound? Hopefully that comes through. Look at this. <laughs> this is just Pix meeting a fucking pig for the first fucking time. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> This is what you get on Thursday. <laughs> what I was going to say. Oh my god. So yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good day though. And uh, ready for some fucking Final Fantasy. Could be a good time. <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> god damn it, Blue Mage. <laughs> Oh, Thank you very much. I appreciate you. <laughs> Honestly, that would be pretty fucking up there, Twitchy. It'd be a little bit too long, but maybe. I wanna, I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna keep this here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just shrink it. We'll have it like real fucking tiny, and then I can. Actually, you know what? No, I wanna do it like this. I'll do it the smart way. I could just hide it. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I swear. <laughs> so, if Pix does jump in here, I can bother Pix with it. But, yeah, Final Fantasy 24 7. Fuck yeah, 365. Oh. But, I think, I mean, honestly, yes, yeah, Schwartz. Pix deserves it, though. Have you seen what Pix fucking says about me? I mean, God. <laughs> yeah, just cut to just a stream, right? I mean, always. Anytime that we can fuck with Pix is okay. I mean, just ask Pix to say boat. <laughs> boat. <laughs> Whatever the fuck your accent has with it, it's fucking great. <laughs> so yeah, that's just kind of where it goes. I fucking love it. Yeah, it's like boat. Uh, fuck, I can't even fucking say it how she says it. It's like Boert or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I love Pix though. Pix is fucking amazing. I mean... You, yeah. <laughs> I can't even defend myself there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see where it goes, though. I mean, it's just... Ah, fuck, dude. It's great. I just like... I like fucking with picks if I can. Because it just kind of adds some extra, like, elements to it. She, she is super easily jump scared. So when we can get her, which it will happen. It's just a matter of when. But we will get her into Dixper. So if we can do squad Dixper with her, we'll probably have to adjust the crates a bit. And we'll probably not do a zero second cooldown, at least like maybe till the end of the stream. But we will probably be able to go and get some spicy ones in there with the normal stuff. We'll stop, we'll hit space, we'll spin in circles, all that with like one or two choice little jump scares. But we'll make them good jump scares. And then as soon as she ends up having that happen, <laughs> It's going to be like, hey, Pix, guess what? <laughs> oh, she's going to fucking die. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, when somebody picks on someone, it's because they care, right? I Pix is awesome. I Pix is fucking great. And I, I love hanging out with Pix. Pix is fun to fucking just mess with. You know, it's good times playing games with her. So... Honestly, I have GTFO. I haven't played it yet. I might try. I don't know if she would be up for it, but there is something where it's like she's into FPS stuff. So maybe I feel like she's into more of the, the fast paced shooters instead of the slowers, which I, I like the ones that are a little bit more like slow, relaxed, having a good time, that kind of thing. But we might be able to get her into uh, GTFO. That, that could happen. So maybe <laughs> no, I mean, I guess it depends on what you're trying to play, though, Burb. If it's GTFO, yes, I'll play with you. If it's Fortnite, no, just no. <laughs> hey, thank you, Nightmare. Uh, actually, if we can get a shout out for Nightmare Detective, that'd be appreciated. Nightmare was uh, being a rebel unicorn yesterday, doing uh, a fancy ass fucking um, I guess 
subathon, donathon thing, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, it was up for how long were you up for? 16, 17 hours, something like that. So uh, you guys should go and watch the VOD on that one. It was a good time. But yeah, I mean, just Nightmare is an awesome person that plays a bunch of like uh, horror games, uh, RP, or I guess like Resident Evil speed runs, some good storytelling, that kind of stuff. So good times. 18 and a half. Ugh. <laughs> hey, Fancy, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. And uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, figure we are going to be hanging out and doing some Final Fantasy seven, uh, doing the remake. And we didn't get into too much of like the super high end, like weird shit. <laughs> That's your fiance. Nice. Well, welcome on in fantasy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm thinking that we're probably going to get into some of the spicier stuff today. We it, it hits really fucking hard at the end of the game. So once we get to the point where we start hitting that dump truck at the end, where it's just like, hey, here's all this info. I could start going into my weird theories about Final Fantasy because all of the games and all of the movies and all the fuck books and like stuff like that, they're all connected. They all work and this. This game puts all of them together and everything is canon. Everything fits. They have a lot of Easter eggs and stuff. There's a lot of pieces with it that kind of add in and <laughs> yeah, it also gets your Hershey tinfoil hat, right? <laughs> but there's a reason. And when I get to it, I'll be able to explain more. But Final Fantasy VII Remake is a continuation after Advent Children. So it's not a remaster of the original game. It's not normal. It's not like, oh, we're doing the same thing. It is a continuation of the story. And that's where it starts getting into the big shit where I'm like, okay, you see what happened right there? That means this. And oh, this part right here could also mean this when you combine it with this other piece from this other thing. And then you just start getting this whole board on the wall with fucking lines everywhere and thumbtacks putting fucking weird shit in. Good time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Psycho, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Yeah, remake, not a remaster, indeed. But there's there's so much shit to it. And I do think there is a lot of stuff where if you play through this game the first time, it's fine. It looks good. And then, like, there's just some weird stuff. You're not really sure what's going on. When you hit the end, you're like, what the fuck just happened? Which, like I said, we're not getting into spoilers for the remake, but we can talk about everything else. So any of the other pieces of the the lore. So the original game, Dirge of Cerberus, Before Crisis, Crisis Core, White and Black, Advent Children, like anything in there is free game to talk about. It's just a matter of how it all works in with this game. So, yeah. <laughs> Time to blow up the second Tinfoil Factory, indeed. <laughs> so... It's just kind of one of those things where it, it works well. This is a great game. I know you guys will fucking love it. And I'm really hoping that at least some of you, because I know most of you won't. Well, I guess I can't even say most. Some of you probably won't agree with me. Some of you will probably think I'm just fucking crazy. And some of you would just be like, nah, that doesn't mean that at all. No, you're just looking too far into it. But there's a lot of stuff that when you put everything together works great. So yeah, crazy is your favorite language. True. <laughs> and I am crazy. <laughs> Fucking crazy. <laughs> but I mean, we enjoy ourselves, right? Came across the Sephiroth Gundam the other day. That'd be kind of fucking cool. I mean, fuck yeah. Good on that. There's honestly, I, there's some pretty solid, you know, I guess interpretations of Final Fantasy stuff. You know, you can kind of do some cool things with it. It was weak. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> Crazy insane is the best, right? But I'm thinking we'll probably go ahead and get ourselves started here. Maybe I'll, I'll try to leave this up and see if it actually still works so I can have uh, stuff to bother Pix with. <laughs> Pix was going on and on about like, hey, I'm going to come bother you as soon as you start. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll give it a second. But no. <laughs> Uh, we'll see where it goes. Yes, no sanity, only degrees of craziness. This is kind of where it goes. <laughs> yes, we enjoy ourselves here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. 
we'll hop over on this and hopefully it all works right all right so this is where we're at we're in the fucking second reactor we're about to fuck some shit up we're having a good time um we are basically having a deal with this boy uh he is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass <laughs> quote unquote and yeah so level 50 is the max so right now i am using my old file so i've already beaten this uh a few times but this is basically everybody's maxed out i have some really good materials good equipment all that but we're just gonna we did a poll last time and we decided we're just gonna fucking run through it so i can show story and that we can talk through everything from there. Yeah, Mecco. <laughs> but it sucks because they're not going to let you have level 99 because they're basically holding it at 50. And then when the next game comes out, you'll probably be able to get to 99 or like 80 or something like that and then go from there. And yeah, fucking Tifa looks good, right? We fucking we stand Tifa here. <laughs> Tifa's fucking top notch. Tifa best girl. And uh. Burb had a chance. Ah, there we go. Hello there, pigs. How are you? <laughs> bone to pick with me, right? Fuck. We're going to go over here. Fucking bone to pick with me. I fucking swear. You know what, pigs? I had something just for you. <laughs> We're going to have a good fucking time. First off, welcome in, everybody. <laughs> of course I'm talking shit. Why would I not talk shit? <laughs> and uh, we got something special for you, pigs. Do it in a second. <laughs> so, first off, for everybody new, I'm Kinsetsu, Demon Skeleton, nor play horror games, old nostalgic RPGs, and some Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Welcome to the Bone Zone. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> and because Pix decided to come say hi, look what I got. Look it. What's what's this, Pix? <laughs> Pix's Enjoy Pix's first time with DVD. Oh, hi. <laughs> ah. Ah, so good. This is what's going to happen on Thursday. <laughs> it just keeps going. It just keeps going. <laughs> Pix even peed a little. <laughs> ah, so good. Look at it. It's so fucking good. <laughs> And she just, Pix just died. Pix just fucking died. It was great. Okay, here. Oh, guy. Ah. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Ah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking blue mage. <laughs> The fucking kid laughing, I fucking swear. <laughs> oh, shit. That's all. Hi, Pix. How you doing? We love you here. <laughs> You're so not ready? Good. <laughs> I appreciate you, though, Blue Mage, so much. Thank you. <laughs> so, anyway. Hi, Mom for One. How you doing? Uh, welcome on in everybody. Hopefully you're all having a good time. So we are doing uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake and the tinfoil hat is because I like to think that there is a lot of weird conspiracy stuff with this one. There's a lot of stuff that lines up that people don't see. <laughs> there you go, Pix. Oh, uh, fuck. I love that one. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Bob? Welcome on in. So, uh, basically, though, this is <laughs> nightmares of that fucking sound. <laughs> uh, I fucking love it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 
so this is the remake of the original Final Fantasy VII. But they've put in a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of small stuff, a lot of things in there to make it kind of like, hey, look at these little nods. But then there's weird shit. Like we had some spirits popping up doing some things that weren't in the original game earlier. And they they work it a certain way where it's like, okay, this is weird. This isn't right. What the fuck is happening? And there's a lot of stuff in here that makes it seem like this isn't the same game that we were playing before. And there's a reason, as I keep saying, Final Fantasy VII Remake isn't a remaster of the original game. It's a continuation after Advent Children. This is this is a sequel. <laughs> this this game happens after Advent Children. And I will get into why I will get into what reasons I think so. We will go through some stuff. <laughs> and yeah, so this isn't my first playthrough. I'm already like I have maxed out characters, maxed out stuff because we're just going through mainly for like story stuff and showing off the game. I've played it four or five times, something like that. So yeah, it's a it's a good game, though. Definitely worth playing. It's amazing. <laughs> so sit back, relax and enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah, like Jesse in the original game hurt her leg in the Mako reactor, which she did get stuck under the rock. So she did get stuck in the same place, but like with this one, they decided that Cloud wasn't going to go on this mission. So this time he wasn't going to go here, even though he was supposed to. But then Jesse just happened to have her leg get hurt by a bunch of spirits. And now we're here. So you kind of have to think about like, OK, why? And uh, let me know if sounds need to be adjusted or anything. Hopefully this is loud enough. So obviously I can just kind of one shot shit. <laughs> so it is what it is. Is Tifa's fucking amazing, right? I also I love how you have kazoo stuff, mom. <laughs> With your hatred for kazoos, I appreciate you. <laughs> Make the sound as deafening as possible. Good. <laughs> Alright, a little loud. I'll turn it down a little bit. Let me know if it needs to be adjusted. I know once it gets into fight a bit much. So hopefully that's okay. Cool. And like, I also just like, I, I don't even fucking need items and stuff at this point. So I'm just kind of running through, but you can still get a lot of the story pieces. You can still understand everything. The fights are still fun. Uh, I was going to do hard mode, which the hard mode actually makes fights different. And I don't know, it's just kind of a cool touch. It's the kazoo she stole from Silver, right? <laughs> so one small thing even. Uh, that we talked about before, but most people don't see the stances that Cloud has. So like this stance is basically like Zack. So this is Zack's, you know, stance that he picked up from Zack. And if I'm not stunned. So like he fights like Zack does, but you can go into this, which the stance is Sephiroth. How he holds his sword and everything like that. So it's kind of just an interesting setup. And then we can switch over here and make Barrett fucking do something. So yeah, it's just the small little touches, the small things that they're like, hey, this just makes stuff worth it. This could be something like a small little nod to someone if they notice. And it's just nice. I mean, yeah, Cloud's basically straight copycat, right? <laughs> hey, Doug, how you doing? Yeah, it doesn't zoom fast, you slow boy. True. But it's the fact that he has it, though. The fact that they decided that was his stance difference, I just think it's cool. <laughs> Soldiers, Maka, Shinra, I'm sick of this. Aw, Tifa. I'm sick of all of this. And her good old cowgirl outfit. I like how it's supposed to be the sword is not usable by anybody else besides Sephiroth, but she's just like, I got it. <laughs> the story behind the cowgirl outfit, that's just what she wore. <laughs> she even had boots of it back in the uh, apartment. Tifa. What? <laughs> Good old fucking Cloud having his fucking flashbacks. All that weird shit. 
Yeah, adrenaline's a heck of a thing, right? All right. Here we go. <laughs> Got all the time in the world. They like their farm this girls, eh? The remote detonator. I like how they just now decided to do a remote just detonator. Like, come on now. We withdraw to a safe distance. Then, kaboom! Safe distance? What? <laughs> <laughs> And the same way we got in. So Let's double back. He was there. So like Cloud was there at the reactor when Tifa's dad died. So he just wasn't like in that room, but he was also sitting like through the doorway. So he was the other guard that was like when they went up to the mountain. He was in one of the guard outfits and, you know, he was the one that didn't die off after they fell. So he was still in that reactor and he saw it and he was there and he did like, quote unquote, kill Sephiroth and so on. It's just that, you know, it wasn't like he thought. What the, where are you going? Weirdly perfect timing. And he also still has a bunch of stories from Zack. Wait a minute. Is someone watching us? <laughs> Dude, I want the second part so fucking bad. I think it's in production and stuff. I think they're working on it. But yeah, like all of this is just like new. It's so fucking cool. Greetings, my dear sewer rats. As architect of our populous engagement campaign, I, Heidegger, head of public security. Fucking Heidegger. Bid you welcome the chief warmonger. You should be flattered. Right now, you command me Uh, I feel like we'll probably get Sid in the third. Most likely. I feel like we're probably going to get to Nibelheim. Breaking news from Mako Reactor Maybe City of the Ancient. Maybe. Issued by the terrorist group Avalanche. Members of the group were observed entering the facility, and security is currently sweeping it for explosive devices. Oh, boy. We now go live to the scene. I'm here in the Sector 5 Undercity. Having confirmed the terrorist target, the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Everybody's fucking fighting, of course. The residents are outraged that the tragedy of Mako Reactor 1 was only the first attack in a campaign of violence. President Shinra has issued... They could just fucking spin that story so well. And so... Ooh, very nice, Silas. We, will offer, we offer the finest comfort. Bread and circus. It's just the fact that, like, they were going so hard on basically making us into scapegoats. And I think that it's really nice what they did in the beginning of this one, even just like having the reactor blow up and showing it. <laughs> Get fucked, Heidegger. To the imbecile in charge down there. You are here by order to seize those intruders and bring them to me. I like how it's like, hey, we don't even have our shit ready, uh, but we're going to get you. <laughs> we're going to get you so good. Fuck you, Barrett. <laughs> but yeah, um, like basically what they did with the uh, setup of um, so how they showed Jesse's bomb basically like causing the whole big explosion. Even in the beginning, they didn't blow up the reactor. It was Shinro, but they just show it now. Yeah. And that bullshit the news is already peddling that false narrative. Right now. <sighs> so we're screwed. No, Hell no, yes, no, I was. No, no, hell no. Attention, all security Listen, forces. They want to turn this into a spectacle. The then I say, let's get them. Oh, the shit. Command. Let's take down Shinra's big ass neck in front of everybody. Okay. I'm sold. And bring them to the command center right now. <laughs> this is such a good fucking sword on him, though. I fucking love the hard edge. Attention, all, security forces. all right, let's go fuck this shit up. No fucking problem whatsoever. 
All right. Me and fucking buttons in this game, though. Something where it's like the... <laughs> I have to kind of get better at the fine motor control. <laughs> He's a little janky at times. You heard the man. Buster's best He's blade, the yeah. <laughs> it's ready, sir. Component outbound for <laughs> right. Uh, I think they do a few times, Blaze. They actually put in a little bit more like cursing into the game to make it more relatable, though it's weird not having Barrett like half Take of his fucking out. sentences are just shit. <laughs> Yeah, basically. So the whole like talking to himself kind of thing. So like this, these are the uh, the weapons that he has. So you can have the buster sword, got the iron blade, got the nail bat, because of course, got the hard edge, mithril saber, twin stinger. So it's just that kind of general idea. They all have their own weapons and stuff and you can do some cool upgrades to them. So. You can make the the weapons last. So you can, if you really want to use the Buster Sword the whole game, you can because you can upgrade it, which I showed it last stream, but I'll do it again real quick. Because I do honestly think this is really good. Like this makes this work well. So like if I want to use the Nail Bat forever, it's like the Sphere Grid on Final Fantasy X, but not as fucking horrible. <laughs> so like you can go in here and be like, I want to uh, level up my luck so I can go with this. And like, whenever I have this sword on, my luck is increased by five, that kind of thing. And you can switch through all these and they can give you materia slots. They can give you crit hit. They give you extra like weapon damage or extra HP. So yeah, like the weapon leveling thing is really fucking good. And it's the fact that they let it be something that this weapon is kind of, eh, it's okay, it's meh. Like it works, but as you level, as you get more skills unlocked, as you like progress, you get things that are, hey, Darth, thank you for the sub. Welcome on in, thank you for hanging out for three fucking months. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, see you later, Blue Mage. Thanks for hanging out though. <laughs> yeah, it might be up before you end, maybe, but have a good nap. So yeah, like you can use any of the weapons forever as long as it's something you like and they just they give you things where you can get materia slots you can get extra things like to connect the materia slots you know and you even have things along the lines of reprieve avoid incapacitation once per battle doesn't work against this death attacks or when hp is one etc but if you have this unlocked if you have this sword on you prevent dying once like, it's not even just a stat increase. It gives you, like, abilities. So, pretty fucking solid. Hey, Blue Mage. I like how Blue Mage gifted a sub to Black Mage. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> yes, there's the Blue Mages and Black Mages. We got mages everywhere. <laughs> we just need a Red Mage now. But, hey, I appreciate you. Thank you, Blue Mage. So, yeah, that's something that's just kind of cool that you can do with it. And uh, each of the weapons have something specific with them as well. So say like the Buster Sword has focus thrust. <laughs> hey, Red Rigger, close here. enough. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out for eight months. I appreciate you and I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, with this focus thrust, it's lunge towards an enemy and, you know, with a piercing strike that hits multiple times, significantly increases stagger. As you use it, it will increase in proficiency. And so this the Buster Sword's the only blade that has it, but once you hit proficiency 100, all of your blades have it. You just unlock it as a skill. So that's something where it's like, all of these have their own ability that if you like them, you just use them, you unlock it, and then you get them on anything. So it just gives you the ability to be like, I'm gonna farm this weapon because I really like the ability, but I don't like the weapon. And then you just go from there. So I think it's cool. You know, the only other thing that I, fuck, right back into the menu. Um, materia, how you can have normal materias and everything like that as per normal, but the summon is something separate. So yes, counter stance is fucking amazing. Um, but the summons are kind of a mixture of like seven and 15, probably, um, the skill unlock come from, I honestly don't know. 
but yeah the final fantasy 15 summon was kind of janky but it's kind of like this but you can kind of get them a little bit more consistently you can kind of control them um with the setup is if you're i think like losing in a fight or uh if it's a certain fight it'll have a little timer show up and whenever the timer fills then hey you can use your summon and you can bring it in and it's just based on which summon you have equipped but it goes into its own materia slot so that kind of helps and how you doing virgil and thank you guys for the fucking hype rate too i appreciate you <laughs> you're fucking awesome it looks like a few of its components yes are still all are welcome <laughs> we'll see about that could tamper a little with its loadout and give ourselves an edge there should be a console somewhere this all right so we can start about. fucking with this uh oh the Yuffie DLC isn't on PS or yeah I guess so yeah it wasn't on PS4 was it I uh I have it I haven't played it yet so integrate I haven't done anything with we are gonna go through that fresh so that's gonna be fun all right so we gotta go find ourselves a key card I think it was uh over here maybe yeah here cool so we have to like find key cards and then we basically take pieces out of this robot so that it doesn't do as much and yes so if you want if you hit a level five if you complete a level five hype train i will read you a story chat <laughs> we'll get a creep poster to it <laughs> yeah i can't hail you for right units, huh? i'm guessing that's some sort of component yep yeah like honestly they power, just wanted a remaster but i i prefer sure I can this unit what they're soldier. doing so we'll get into why but i actually am very happy with the direction they're going as long as they keep it going right so if they can do what they did with this game with the next ones i'll be set depending on how they tweak it i feel like we're still going to be pretty close to what the original was with just a few tweaks to adjust but we'll see yeah make the boss really hard i think we have to use one here and then i think we we can just like pick out items or something for the next one to get items to sell or something like that hey thank you mom thank you for the biddies <laughs> the fanciest of biddies even right let's move i mean yeah it's kind of how it goes that's just i mean the setup that they had i figure it's like hey we can do better fancier things now more allowance aw thanks <laughs> i appreciate you hey howie fuck yeah thank you for the fucking 10. <laughs> you're fucking amazing holy shit <laughs> i fucking appreciate you so much howie and uh everybody that got a sub make sure to say thank you <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kyer. Much appreciated. <laughs> hey, AZ, how you doing? Welcome on in. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, How I appreciate you, Kyer. Thank you for the fucking gift subs. And uh, welcome on in, AZ. Hopefully your stream is going well. Hopefully you're having a good time. <laughs> Build a boss. It's a very big boss. It'll kill you, right? Yes, the hype train summoned you. <laughs> it works out well. I appreciate you guys, though. You were fucking amazing. <laughs> Component outbound from B7. Yeah, as long as they do next game right. That's. The, I mean, they have it set at a spot now. I'll let them do that. So the game right now is at a point where it could go amazing, and it could just be a better Final Fantasy or it could be ass and then we're just like well at least we still have final fantasy Which actually now i think about it uh so this right here active time battle or you can click this and it goes to the slow like active time battle of like the old times it's still you're still seeing a move it's just so much slower so you can go through and be like i'm gonna pick my items i'm gonna do something with this i'm gonna go over to this guy over here and use his stuff so it kind of gives you that slowdown from the old game while still being action combat, which I think is really fucking solid. Or you can just open up, you know, your like, there's two like side menu and just use your abilities from there without having to like take time. I just think it's really fucking good. 
Nice. Hopefully uh, you got some good stuff in Genshin. Do you do any rolls or anything like that? Hopefully if you did, you got some good ones. All right. We just got to find these key cards. Ah, here's one. Yeah, companions are not great. Yeah, which the Final Fantasy 12 Gambit system was solid. I do kind of like where this is kind of going, but it just depends. Um, Let's grab. Uh, let's so either grab bombs or this. Let's, I think we'll grab this one. What does an AI programming core do? Increases processing power dedicated to motor function computation. Makes it move real quick. Makes it That's move how quick. it works. Yeah. A real quick, giant <laughs> Dude, it'd be great on the fucking PC. I'm happy with it on here, though. Like, it is solid. But yeah. And uh, I honestly really hope that we see a trailer here soon. I, I mean, just something to show off the remake part two. Just to be like, hey, here's a little bit for you. Here's something to kind of tease you a bit. Get you all excited. Mm, yeah. Little little bit of Final Fantasy. <laughs> and then we'll just be sitting there like, uh-huh, yes, so please, take my money. <laughs> to a storeroom for defective equipment, I'm guessing. That's so... Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> ah, I keep looking at the door. <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> Much appreciated, Car. <laughs> if we get that far. God, it's, it's like I hear the knocking. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, Shinra hated that, right? Oh God, Barrett! Okay. Listen up, y'all. Everything Shinra has told you is a goddamn lie. Marco is the lifeblood of our planet. Yeah, Shinra, open up. <laughs> y'all gotta rise up. Barrett, who are you talking to? <laughs> the people put me on TV. I'm gonna drop some truth. Thousand Gil says they cut the sound. Barrett out here dropping the tooth. All right, here we go. I'm up here and fuck out this boy. <laughs> hey, Ian, thank you very much for hanging out for fucking two months. I appreciate you. <laughs> God, you guys are the fucking best. I swear. I, I honestly couldn't do any of this without you. You make me so fucking happy just to have you guys here hanging out, enjoying your time. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, Blue Mage. We're supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> but honestly, though, like you guys, I don't know. You just, you fucking make me happy. Shit. If I had a heart, I'd be growing sizes right now. <laughs> Yeah, right, MJ. Fuck. All right. It always takes you a while. Yeah, I get you there. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Where were they? Yeah, I think there was two in this one. Find any cards? Two fucking two. And this time we've got three choices. Take your pick. All right. Um, there was another in here, right? Or am I just crazy? I mean, we know we're, I know I'm crazy, but you know, where did I just pick up two with that? Nah, I think I'm crazy. Let me go over here. Hell is this? M unit. Another type of- Let's go with strawberry. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, even mom's telling you to go to sleep. Mom's just like, Turn off your toys and go to bed. <laughs> You're grounded. <laughs> Dude, honestly, like mom with her grounded emotes though are fucking amazing. Like the just you you got some solid fucking emotes, mom. They're, they're good shit. I don't think I have any more. No. Oh, the fucking reminiscing is great. I'm having a great fucking time playing this again. I mean, mind you, I, I will probably always have a great time playing this, but I'm waiting to get to some what, of the pieces where I'm like, ah, we even got some life. coming up here where we can kind of talk about it a little bit. You don't say. We're about to make gravity, I swear. <laughs> Times like these, you've got to save them. 
Oh no, if you're about to ask me to dance, then don't. Come on, don't be shy. How about you? I'll class? dance. I'll, I'll ask Tifa to dance. Tifa will dance if I ask. <laughs> I want a fanboy so fucking hard. <laughs> Dude, I'm so fucking like, I just, I love this game so fucking much. And I just, when I first played through it, I was on the side of like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why are they doing this to my game? What the fuck? After I kind of understood what was going on, then hey, everything lined up and it made so much more sense. And things are actually like, okay, I'm happy with this. <laughs> yeah, danger running dangerously low because we can't fucking make something before people get here. You even had so much extra time because we got fucking stuck and we had to go under the fucking plate and just... You guys took so long. Alright, there we go. Ooh, just got the tree for the year? Damn, that's early. Isn't it? Don't you normally get trees like... I just, that seems like really fucking earth. You have your tree too? Okay, I guess. Well, I guess, fuck, it is like almost December, isn't it? I guess that would make sense. Fuck, it just seems like everything as soon as Halloween's done, it's just like holiday, 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 holiday. It's just, you can't even get a fucking chance to breathe. <laughs> uh, what these? That's an M unit, right? Yep. Yeah, this, this fucking silver though. She fucking loves her holiday shit. We should think it through. I have like decision. a little Nightmare Before Christmas tree that's like in a box somewhere that I'll put out at some point. <laughs> M unit flagged for disposal. Yeah, they pushed the Sephiroth for new players compared to the original. Which Just I do that think that there's a lot of stuff in that one, which we will get into a little bit more and I'll explain more when we get there. But Big the Sephiroth shot. that showed up earlier if you think it'll is Advent Children Sephiroth, not Final Fantasy Original Sephiroth. Whoa. <laughs> Put on the tinfoil hats and enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, all right, MJ. Serves all right. All right, cool. So I think we got enough there. So now we can just go ahead and dip on out. So like we already got like we took all the fucking M units. We took one of the fucking shells, one of the fucking AI cores. God, fucking Kingdom Hearts, Sephiroth. No, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is not part of this. Detonator still in range. We should be good. The moment big boy goes down. This is food, right? Right. All right, let's fuck some shit up. Hi there, buddy. <laughs> All right, and this is basically like he dodges pretty much everything, but and this boy has to fucking stand on the fucking roof. There we go. Keep those gloves up. <laughs> Seth that almost murdered Mario. <laughs> Advent Children, because he has the wing. That's the thing. The wing is something from Advent Children. Like the the wing wasn't there. You know, like yes, his other form at the end had a wing, but it's not like the same thing. And so like the only one with like the black wing was Advent Children. And that's why like you see the black that feather here, where it's like okay, the black feather is important and it shows Can't that that Sephiroth prepare. isn't the same Sephiroth we just gotta get it done. so kind of opens up some questions eh <laughs> yeah it hit, uh, fucking like had his legs with the black wing indeed yeah <laughs> so all right there's that we're... boy Short on M units, but tracking down replacements. Work faster, or you'll hear it from the brass. Yeah, work faster, or we're gonna fuck your shit up. Look, they're still prepping it. They're Just shoot here. it, or work shoot back. the people. Play us every second you can. Da -da 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 -da. No 
Oh, come on. You didn't fucking swing. You bastard. <laughs> There we go. Ah. Fine. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> hey, Zolan, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Alright. Thanks to Hojo's failed experiments, you met all of the original make more sense. True. There's a lot of shit there where it's like there's just so many fucking pieces that just line up in so many weird ways. Definitely took down a peg or two. Yeah. I'd give us a few. Um chance. So they it's the original so games the canon. The and they're putting thing. some of the stuff from the original script in. Start a new trend. God. Huh? Fucking Barrett, I swear. No way we're getting back up that. <laughs> Fucking Vogue, I swear. So, my opinion is that Aerith is still going to die, but I feel that they're wanting to go down the route of making us think that we can change it so that we still get the same feelings. Because if we go into the game and we're like, oh, hey, everything's fine, and we know exactly what's going to happen, then, okay, all we really care about is just what kind of weapons can we get? What kind of, like, what new stuff are they going to add? I think they're still going to make you... They're going to make you think that you can change it and then still fuck you over because then it'll it'll hurt the same way. But that's me. So <laughs> we'll see where things go. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, for sure, MJ, which I definitely think is like really cool with what they are like actually able to do here. You know, there's just so many pieces that you can just toss in now that graphics are able to show more you're able to do more you're able to talk about things more you have more space yeah you gotta fuck your shit up boy we give it our all and we'll win. Uh, her death hurt me because she had gear on her <laughs> i mean uh she it hurt so bad <laughs> Yeah, right. No Can't wait for the fucking childhood flashbacks, right? <laughs> Honestly, they did really well with Aerith in this version. I do have to give them that. Right? You better give up big old smile this time. I used her as my healer. So my That's first right. party was Cloud, <laughs> Tifa, and Aerith. Cloud and Tifa were the important ones. Aerith was just there for healing. And then after that, Tifa's always been my healer, and I use Vincent as like another like tank and damage deal kind of thing. Right. What? Open it already. It's not <laughs> everybody was my healer, right? We can get it open? I mean, everybody yeah, could heal, but I had one that focused. Cloud was damage dealer. Vincent's damage dealer while also having cover. <laughs> and then Tifa just damage deals while healing. Do you think we'll find the components we diverted there? It's like a treasure. And yeah, that's they're what that's what they're gonna have to do. They, they want to make their their shock factor. So, so I do think do that's this? what's going to happen. It's simple, really. We move the levers at the same time. Got these ones. Oh, for sure, MJ. I'll take left. Which just leaves that and boy. the fucking setup with enemy skill material, though. You just big guard and white wind. <laughs> that's we like those two He's fucking right skills so we need to solved everything. In that case, follow my lead. Nah, Tifa's. Fine, Dude, I'm really waiting for okay. fucking Vincent, though. I'm super fucking excited. Three, two, oh, actually, I want to fuck this up. There's stuff that they say when you fuck up. <laughs> Focus. Three, two, Dude, one. me too, MJ. Me fucking too. Watch carefully. <laughs> it's just the setup of, like, the stuff that they do. Yeah, now we're just gonna fucking hit buttons. Look at us, we're just hitting things. Try to match my timing, okay? <laughs> I just I think there was something else that they said, Shake if I remember right. We'll try it one more time and then we'll just actually do it. Move yours the same way as mine. Nah, probably not. 
We got this. Yeah, there's a bunch of stats that were broken. So like there was just a lot of shit that the coding wasn't right for. Dude, honestly, I'm excited to play Yuffie's story. I really want to see what Yuffie worked like, and I really want Vincent. Took the words right out of my mouth. Right, Mark. Okay, that's it. What y'all got tucked away in that vault, huh? Honestly, though, like fucking uh, the setup of like W summon mine fucking knights of the round. <laughs> that shit, fucking great. Bypass a high level security lock. Different from the other one. Same deal, but we got to do it several times. All right. Was hoping, to, was hoping you would do anything but that. Fuck me. Oh hell no. We're doing this. Yeah, Yuffie definitely needed a little bit more. Yuffie was still good. I still enjoyed Yuffie, but they could definitely do a little bit more to add to her, which I'm hoping that they do in the integrate because I haven't, like I said, I haven't played integrate okay, yet, but you know I'm excited to see to where it goes. Copy me. No. Dirge was oh, fine. interesting. <laughs> I don't think Dirge was horrible, but I also know that it wasn't great. So, eh, it's there. It does add Let's more story. They go weird with some stuff, but All right. yeah. Dirge is bad. Yeah, I mean, like, I I feel like it's bad, but at least it tried something, but it's, eh, it's there. Like, I would still say it's, it's worth at least looking at if you really like Final Fantasy. Past that, not really much that you want to go for. Oh, what? Oh, I totally did that. Breathe when I breathe. <laughs> Three, two, yeah. One. There you go. Yeah, moved out of the way. I mean, honestly, there's there's some stuff there where it's like you have a lot of options, and I okay. I think don't lose focus. It's probably gonna go down the line of. They're going to try to play the whole thing of when that happens, either we're going to try to do like, hey, I seeing this stuff, don't do it, whatever, then it's still going to happen, or they're going to prevent it there and it's still going to happen anyway. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, the, the gag song at the end was fucking amazing. <laughs> at least from what I remember, it was pretty solid. Put my heart and soul into countdowns. There you go. And we can go ahead and get our fancy items. Score. Hey, Nico, thank you very much for the six months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fucking derps for fucking shit. <laughs> Diva definitely best girl. Thank you very much for fucking dropping in, though. I appreciate you. If we can get a shout out for Nico, that'd be appreciated. Another V2 where you guys go and hang out with, have a good time over there. You know, good times. All right, let's go ahead and grab all our shit. More things we can sell, even though we have inventory full on like everything. But it's something. All right, now we can just go ahead and head out here and kill ourselves a fucking giant ass robot. Get in the robot cloud. <laughs> Yeah, the fucking derp remote. Fucking uh, Vale made that. I think, I think Vale made it for Kuro, who gave it to me or something like that. I don't remember for sure. All right, let me go. Yeah, this fucking like honestly, the music in general in this game, fucking top notch. Like <laughs> some of the best shit. <laughs> All right, yeah. who likes giant robots? We like giant robots. Look. Look. Fucking Shinra coming in to save the day. Oh, the eyes of one who has bathed model, which would make you See, listen to what he's talking about here. This is important. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Though not, alas, for very long. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Degeneration. Degradation being the most common cause of death by far. 
This is classified, of course, but every soldier knows. I just like how that's right. Like she looks back, like, wait, what? Think you for getting someone? So the fact that they're even talking about the fact that like soldiers die. And uh, sort of, Cole. We did see her in the street. And what a wasteful indulgence it would be, even if there were. Okay then. How you doing, Red? Let's talk about wasteful indulgences. What is Marco? The life stream. The lifeblood of the planet. Our planet. But Shinra keeps on slurping it up like a thirsty dog. What do you think's gonna happen if you don't stop, huh? Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure you appreciate it, Zex. <laughs> slurping it up, as you say, but for whose benefit, I wonder. The true nature of Marco is known to one and all, yet the people willfully turn a blind eye to the cost. That is like how it just, he's just like, yeah, I'm just going to fucking talk about this shit. No problem. Put this on us. If anyone's going along with your plans, it's because you brainwashed them. Such methods are And basically, like, the gun attached to his arm is just like I mean it's actually like attached to his arm like he doesn't have anything else past that because he lost his arm so that's like where they just attached it that the rest is his arm what was that kind of set up yeah like this the fact that it's like you can even go down the route of like hey you're siding with Wu-Tai now the FMA tech Yep. What did I do? Don't you see? You fools were never in control. Never anything. Yep, but yep. In our plans to sell great and glorious war to the people. And that's the and thing, it's like so fucking easy. Insurrection will detonate. Uh. Aw, fuck. When we so choose. Hey, I'm Jolly. <laughs> Thank you for fucking hanging out for eight months. I appreciate you. <laughs> now let us raise the curtain on our main event. A fucking pumpkin, I swear. <laughs> Mountain Dew, right? The trial of the ego extremist. Dude, this thing on hard mode fucked me up. <laughs> Your guilt is undeniable. Your punishment's death. Here we go! Time to play. <laughs> play some bets on the Becca, I swear. I'm sick of this. Get it, Tifa. Get it. I'm sick of all of this. It's just like Oh. Cloud! Get your head in the game! <laughs> Counting on you, man. Yeah, hard mode equals gamer mode, right? All right, go ahead and pop that real quick. Get you a little bit of fucking stagger. <laughs> yeah, all this fucking PTSD, right? All right, now get the fuck out of here. Oh, I almost did it too. <laughs> I like how it's just like, I don't even have to fucking try this. Easy mode is so easy like this. I wonder how much a full hit does. <laughs> oh yeah, I was able to stagger him fast enough. Nice, nice. God, it's fucking music though. God, I fucking love this game. Alright, come on in. Come on in. Come in here so I can hit you. Get in here so I can hit you. Shit. <laughs> There you go. Shit. I'm getting to believe. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have lightning on. 
I could blade burst, but eh. <laughs> I could also just sit there and just take hits. <laughs> yeah, bring a sword to a mecha fight, right? Ow! What could you not? I like how they talk during the fight too, where it's like you actually can like hear them just interacting with each other. I don't know, just <laughs> add some cool elements. Oh, here it goes. We don't have long to get clear. Take Tifa and get out of here. I, I was wrong about you. This ain't the end of the line Aww. for you or me. Cloud! <laughs> Come on. I like how they shoot at the ground. <laughs> right, Angel? And there it is. It's interesting how they do this part, too. Our good old Dementors. Hey, buddy. Okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Buddy old pal. Made it through with just uh, a couple of scraped knees back then. Back then? Back then? What do you say? Do you say? Are we doing this? Doing this? Have we? Never mind about that. About that. Right now, right now, you need to focus on yourself. yourself. Move something. something. Anything. Anything. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I bet sure it's. Yeah, just sitting there talking to himself. Slow, slow. And steady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fact that he's like so fucked up where it's like he's like talking to himself like this like inner self and like thinking the whole Zack thing and I am your everything. Ah. Hello in there. I am your everything. There's still so much to be done. <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, basically one of the things that most people kind of go with, Boru. Maybe you're not okay. <laughs> it's the guy from Smash Bros, I swear. God. You're... Aerith. It's Aerith. And you are... Listen wow. to how she talks, by the way. Nice to meet you again. Again, huh? What? You don't remember? What about the flowers? Oh, the flower girl. And also remember oh, back in the original, she was really upset about you breaking, like, messing up her flowers, sense. like, stay off the flowers. You came All that? crashing through the roof without so much as a lookout below. <laughs> Fell right into my flower bed. Lucky for you. Like, really? Oh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to... Don't worry about it. They're a lot tougher than they look. This place, it has a kind of power. Hey, Mr. White, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Before I forget, you dropped this when you landed. <laughs> yeah, miraculously. I've got one, too. You and everybody and their mother. <laughs> right, Gosley? No, no, it's special. Mine's not good for anything at all. Aww. Why is he getting flash forwards? You know? But you just don't know how to use it. So he's already seeing stuff for when someone dies. Though, <laughs> just having it is enough. It was a gift from my mother. Yeah. I'm gonna have to explain Pretty a little bit after this. Us meeting again like this. You should stay a while. I'm just bookmarking things. <laughs> hey, thank you for the hydrate. Much appreciated. <clears throat> so yeah, the music's amazing. It's so fucking well. This is uh, the church that in the original you also fell into as well. And in Crisis Core, Zack fucking did the same fucking thing. <laughs> so. Ta-da! <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so many fucking bookmarks. But the main setup with that is the fact that she just... Which obviously there's going to be some difference in how people talk. There's going to be some difference in what's going on. But she was definitely more so worried about the flowers. And like, I can do this. I can walk all over the flowers and, and she doesn't say anything. Besides that, it's just like, here. just when I finished the tending the flowers. Over, but like, she's not upset. So like, she's not getting mad about you walking over the flowers. It's like she's already used to it. So that kind of brings up some things. The fact that you're seeing things that haven't happened yet. So he's able to have flashbacks. Obviously, that's fine. It was already there before. He was able to have all of his weird shit with like, oh, I remember stuff from the old reactor. I remember stuff with Tifa. I remember all this stuff there. But why is he seeing the point where Aerith dies and her fucking materia bounces down the stairs? So it's the fact that he's seeing shit he shouldn't. Also, I just think this is fun, so I'm going to go over here. <laughs> this is kind of where it goes, right, Shanty? We're not in any hurry. <laughs> I mean, go pretty good, guy, guys. Yeah, like, there's, there's so many fucking theories with this, and I have things that I will explain more once we get to it. I'm, I'm dropping little hints. I'm dropping seeds to have them grow into something so that when we get to the part where I can explain it, that it'll be like, oh, you remember the thing I talked about in the church? <laughs> so we'll see. And that one out there, you'll see him here in a second, but it's Reno. And I just think it's cool that you can walk over there. Hey, great. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Could stick around a bit. <gasps> really? You will? And just in that case, especially watch how she talks in this next section. I'll see myself in. Thanks. <laughs> and who are you? Right. He's my bodyguard and a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Like a soldier. How she get yes. that? Soldier. Well, what do you know? <laughs> you know hey, throw it. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. You don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from Merc stuff, right? Uh, I guessed. <laughs> and now she tries to back Just it up. Do this for me, okay? And yeah, like it makes sense. She could guess. But she's skipping right. over conversations. It'll cost you a lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? Huh. Well, so weird enough to be one. If you didn't know anything, that wouldn't mean anything. But First. she just like skipped through a whole bunch of conversations <laughs> and went right into needs. stuff. At least try to make it like she knows him. She knows what works. She knows what was going on. I like, guess the eyes give it away. But. She skipped the whole conversation about stuff, asking if he wanted to be a bodyguard. Like, he didn't go and do his whole I'm a soldier thing. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll get more into it later. But that's just something I want to put out there for you guys. <laughs> and so she has seen the Buster Sword before. So technically, like, I would have the Buster Sword right now. But... Like, she knows Zach. She knows what Soldier is. She understands all that. So, yeah. Right, Mark? Oh, damn. I thought he was going to swing it for... Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here, boy. There you go. <laughs> Come here, boy. There you go. <laughs> Get fucked, Reno. Ah, oh. <laughs> you got to do that. Yeah, Ruth's fight's definitely uh, pretty fancy as well. Oh, oops. Game popping my thing. But, uh... Yeah, show that in the original. True, true. Because the, the Buster Sword 
is uh, Zax, and especially like if you go into Crisis Core, they explain a little bit more about it because it was Angeal's, and then Zack got it, and then Zack gave it to Cloud. Um, so she knows the sword. She's seen the sword. She understands soldiers. She understands the outfit. Understands the eyes. She's had to deal with you know perks for a while. But like this, he's about to hit Reno, and then he gets pulled off by spirits. <laughs> Are you hurt? I'm fine. Go get the girl. Sir. <laughs> There's just so many things I will get into more later. It's just about making sure that you think about it and you kind of have your own opinions on it. And then when we get to it later, I will explain more. Yeah, mercenary work. And also, this shit pissed me off so fucking much because I can't get over there to get a materia. They're literally stopping you from getting a materia. <laughs> like, why even have the fucking door open, you bastards? Yeah, look how many there are. Uh, didn't Cloud give up on the fight and get chased down? So, like... Yeah, like basically it was the whole thing where it's like, hey, uh, you should just leave. We got to go instead of like actually like winning and all that. So like he was he was going to fucking get and see like she was about to fall and they got her. So it's like, are they good? Are they bad? Come on. Yeah, it's not your destiny, right? Go faster, Earth. shit. <laughs> we're going. It's pretty fucking good. Thank you for the biddies. Hopefully your uh, Thanksgiving went to, uh, well too, Razor. And yeah, that's basically uh, what a lot of people say, Black. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, way past where it was. Uh, I'm sorry it blew up on you though, Gygax. But hopefully you enjoy it. Up there. Oh boy. Hey, see, they can't see okay? the spirits either. It's so like only we can. Or maybe not. If there's so much as a scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in, in one piece. <laughs> what now? Run! Move it, I'll shoot! Sir! Hey, thank you for the biddies. Mine went really well because turkey the third time this year. Damn, third time this year? Damn. Put a drop of bacon on top of the turkey, kept the meat moist, and added a lot of flavor from the fat and grease. Hey, it works okay. though. Uh, I forgot. I think it was this way. <laughs> Don't like how Rita talks. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? But hey, at least, you know, like they, they put some interesting things in there with them. It's kind of just the same setup as like the Avent Children, whatever. I don't remember for sure. I think it's this one over here. As I'm just like fucking walking around. Eh, or not. Maybe. Fuck. I, cloud. <laughs> cloud. What are you doing? Cloud. <laughs> cloud. Fuck. <laughs> this is why I can't have nice things. Fuck, I don't know. Fine. Just fucking drop this one then. I don't I don't care. Fucking do whatever, Cloud. <laughs> Alright, and then Where do we drop it next? Over there! Oh, do I just go over here? Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Dude, the upper body strength to fucking maintain this, though. Fucking Cloud be beefy as fuck. <laughs> just, just Cloud, Cloud, stop. Cloud, Cloud, behave. Cloud, Cloud, <laughs> Cloud, Cloud. Thank you. Thank you, Cloud. 
<laughs> Not as bad as having to drop barrels and shit. Yeah, like honestly, he's he's a fucking super soldier. That's just what happens. All right, we head on up here. They're in the attic. Should we pursue? Nah, leave them be. But sir, partners got it. We are out. <clears throat> wow, beginner's luck. More of those things. It's like they're gone. Yeah, us. basically, Stay like eh, I'll just toss it off to my partner. So cool. Huh. So cool. So, I mean, obviously. Top of the church and go wander around a little bit. Yeah, cloud one because he has materia. There's this kind of stuff. These old barrels. So these ones right here were what you had to use to like push off to basically get through that last fight. So they have little Easter egg barrels over the, the openings, which I think is kind of cool. I mean, yeah. I was about to fucking do it. And that's the thing, like, he even did that back with, like, Johnny and stuff, where he was going to go and just basically kill Johnny. But Thief is like, Cloud, you're scaring me. No. Like, the fact that he's actually, like, Cloud, or, or she was, you know, about to fucking, like, freak out when he was just going to kill somebody. It's like, no, oh, just what the fuck are you doing? They gone? Yeah, I think so. What are I mean, they? like, literally just look down there. Actually, I don't know. Let's just go and see that right there. It's like, are they gone talking about the spirits? And it's like, what are they? And it's like, I think, uh, never mind. Let's just go. Like she, she wanted to say something okay. there, but she decided not to rooftops? see that pillar over there. There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? Let's. Uh, should we mosey on over? Nobody said mosey. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's next for you? A little bit of bodyguard work. <laughs> right. After that, it's back to the Sector 7 slums. You know how to get there? Yep. Of course you do. That suit from <laughs> earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations with extreme prejudice. I mean, yeah, definitely black. Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe I just like how they fucking put all the characters in. Soldier yet. Like just the setup of, in general, the, Forget it. the hmm? story of the characters, yeah. the pieces of the characters, just everything lines up so much better. They just are, they have more space really to tell stories. They have more space to build the characters out and to make them into something worth it, which I think is shown super fucking well. <laughs> I actually haven't traveled by for a little bit, Zex. Be surprised if you had. It's honestly kind of exciting. Well, first time and all. Yeah, Avalanche has so much more to it as well, which I just think is really fucking cool. It's done really interestingly. All right. Wait. Give me a moment. <laughs> There's her just taking her second to fucking jump. Come on. Come on. There you go. Proud of you. <laughs> Don't just run off on your own. Yeah, just in general, so like, look at this place. So look at just how fucking beautiful this fucking world looks. There's, mind you, some places that the skyboxes and grounds and stuff like that just do not look good at all. But there's some pretty solid ones that work pretty well. Yeah, so this is on PS5. Uh, I don't think that they did too much to adjust the skyboxes on PS5 compared to PS4, did they? It'd be nice if they did. 
because there were some spots that needed some work. <laughs> I'm hoping that they fixed them, but we'll have to see once we get there. So does no one? Yeah, beautiful noise? slum indeed, right? No one to get mad if we make noise. Looks kind of rusty. I'll go first. <laughs> it's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <sighs> Easy now. Yeah, that fucking Feel frame rate, right? I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. <laughs> uh, mm, I'm going to stretch for a second. <clears throat> uh, she's slower, right? <sighs> hey, Ren. Thank you for fucking hanging out for six months. I appreciate you. <laughs> Go ahead and hydrate real quick. Ah, uh, so how you guys doing? <laughs> uh, another stretch in there. Uh, man. <laughs> Just hanging around. <laughs> so, uh, Aerith, you want to admit the Tifa's best girl? <laughs> you want to admit the Tifa's, Tifa's best girl? I'll pick you up. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave. <laughs> Fuck you, Aerith. Ah. <laughs> <Cloud? laughs> uh, uh, so anyway. <laughs> Can't get work done during the stream, right? <laughs> But look at this. Look at the fancy church over there. Look how beautiful the church is. Oh, we have to go look at that first. Um, we're we're doing something, Aries. I swear. <laughs> but, fine, fine. <laughs> that was unexpected. Thank you, Cloud. <sighs> this is how you get stronger in Shadow Colossus, oh, right? There it is. And we are oh. wearing a tinfoil hat because we're going into weird fucking theories about you Final know, Fantasy today about leaving once but in the end i couldn't too dangerous too much the, right the world bursting with life <laughs> more than i can handle i think sometimes remember that right now, people hate the steel sky the slums but i don't how could i all that passion all those dreams it's a game into the game, right? Into something greater. Mm, it's all kinds of fancy shit. It's gonna steal Tifa from Cloud? I mean, I can see that too. Yeah, enough hentai to know where that's going. This time I'll go first. After all, <laughs> I can't count on you to wait. Oh, you gotta be like that? See for yourself. Can't count on me to wait. Hmm. Maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. <laughs> Fucking Aerith, I swear. Maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Let me on. You're for free. Cheapskate. You're. Ah! 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 Fucking just go, Aerith. Oh. Shit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Huh. Gotcha. You're killing me. Barrett's here. best girl, I swear. Yeah. Just like her attitude, right? Just how she acts and how everything is done in general. There's just so much to it. And there's so many small details and ways that things work. Buster Sword's best girl. God. At least we're almost there. Gonna catch her? 
You good? Of course. Oh. Come on, Aerith. Come on. There, they had their moment. My hero. Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh. Yeah, slide through a rusted out pipe. Yep. <laughs> Thanks anyway. <laughs> Chicks dig big swords, indeed. We're getting closer to the station. Even so. And see, I like how we can just like head all the way back here. Huh. Oh, I guess not. There's a face that screams, so what? <laughs> so what? I thought scarier things in my sleep. D yes. Birds aren't real, right? Look out, Cloud. <laughs> and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look at her stuff. <laughs> Someone looks like they're in their element. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the voice acting was done very well on, like, everybody in here. I'm, I definitely really like it. So like this is her setup. These are like her weapons that she can have. So I just toss the mithril on. I never use Aerith. I occasionally will use her here and there, but I normally run um, some other people. Just, I mean, I have Bear for the range and Tifa because Tifa's best girl. <laughs> so, I mean, Aerith kind of occasionally jumps in in place of Barrett here and there. So it just kind of depends. But I do like the way that she works, though. Um, but then, like, yeah, for materia, it's basic, simple setup. Not too crazy. But everybody's maxed out. So, yeah. <laughs> I do like the way that she works in this. She has an interesting kind of uh, fighting style, which I'll go ahead and do once we get into a fight here. Get back. I can fight, too, you know. So like she can just attack like that. She has range. Or we'll go in here. Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. Yeah, good old fucking red. Good old Nanaki. Has his moments. Uh let's see. Alright. I can see that. Oh, and you knew didn't include stations. Ha ha. Did include stations. Yeah, so it's not staff whacking. So basically she can like fling out magic from her staff and she can also like throw out something. I think that it like hits somebody and stays on them and like does dot damage or something like that. Or at least hits an area. I have to remember how the tempest works. Once we get to another fight, I'll use her again. To, just nice, ghostly, nice. Hey, what the hell's going on? Out, Come huh? on, there's no need to shout. Yeah, place. fucking yeah. like, oh, well, fine. Got a good view of the reactor. The reactor that just got fucked up. It's on fire. In the show. Yeah, they were gonna be they brother and sister before. They're worried. They still kind of have it oh, with the whole like swoops of her hair. home from the church that's there we go right. well i'm glad you're okay so just random I'm conversations like just talking church. to Aerith. not debris no that's something at least or Aerith. So <laughs> next time. yeah Aerith is actually pretty fucking solid hey you know a way to get topside like she just sitting here having conversations like we could just run down and just ignore all this or you can just kind of like you know just see her just talk to people There we go. And so like this, like uh, people blocking that. Huh? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> the healer con that all she was ever meant to be. <laughs> Rope's good. Go. Pull him up. Yeah, just basically like <laughs> the kind of idle stuff. They just kind of do things. They just wander around, have a good time, having some fun. Let's go. T 
<laughs> Good old fucking rude. Coming in to fuck shit up. Another Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me or you? Don't know. Don't care. Then let's stick to the back streets. <laughs> ah. There will be monsters. There will be monsters. <laughs> Better than Shinra. Yeah, honestly, like the backup glasses for the fucking backup glasses are just like rude is just fucking great. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. But a great place to lay low. Take okay. So it's my so like turn? Tempest. I'm waiting. I can throw that out. And so basically like it'll just do like explosion like damage over time you typey thing so turn. you can kind of use her to throw out stuff to hit somebody with like a big burst damage and then also just throwing out range hits I'll protect you. but you know <laughs> cloud just does everything so much better i do what i want apparently i'm fleeing fuck it we're fleeing now and she just fucking teleports back so there's like quests and stuff that you can do out here based on if we uh, feel like trying to get her outfit or not. Honestly, they were great in Advent Children. Some good setups. But yeah, honestly, like they did really fucking well with mind you all the characters. I really think they did really fucking well with all the characters, but they did pretty well bringing her into it. Over here. Yeah, and like honestly, like there's work. there's a lot of stuff that they did sure just in general that make. Too, so. I mean, I guess also like look at this boy. Look how fucking strong this man is. <laughs> but like. Just the fact that they did so much to just add more character into just side characters. Like all the small little stuff just has so much more depth to it. Like the fucking fact that like Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge had a whole like chapter dedicated to them. Which I don't know, it's just it's cool. <laughs> I have to remember. I don't, I don't remember which of the outfits I actually gave to Aerith. I think I got her the shitty one and the fancy one. I think I'd have to go middle ground now. I was trying to do Tifa's and I ended up accidentally clicking the fucking wrong one on uh, the last time I played through it. But like this, you can just fucking crawl over here, like just random items and just weird random places. <laughs> Dude, right, Gygax? It's just fucking, like, so good with that. I, know, I just, I like the way that they put this map together. I do hope, mind you, I do hope that the next version is a little bit more open-ended. I don't want them to be as linear as these maps are. It works well right now because it is like Midgar. Midgar is linear. It fits to kind of tell the story. They're building the world out. But I hope that they are able to get to the point that they have more of a mm, Final Fantasy 12 to Final Fantasy 15 style map and can build off of that. Still a fair ways off. And uh, well, we did take a, a lot. <laughs> Getting tired? No. Me. Yeah, I gotta like catch a chocobo and all that. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. <laughs> and that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. Eat ourselves stupid. You're gonna stay over for food because reasons. Yeah, let me see. How much do I actually have? Um, what would that be under? Probably key items. I got 41. But I think I've already bought all this stuff from uh, 
Moogle medals. At least most, if nothing else. <laughs> Eat my mom's food. It's for the planet. Right, Bite? How you doing? Hopefully your day's going well. Guess I gotta. Actually, is, is that it? uh, get a shout out for Mr. Bite. I want to see what his last game was. See if you changed it or not. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Barrett in red and sailor uniforms. Honestly, I'm super fucking excited for that. And these, I don't know what they're supposed to be, but I think they're supposed to be like mechs from another Final Fantasy game. Uh, like five or six or something like that. I don't fucking remember. But I think they're supposed to be mechs from some other game. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I haven't played any of the other ones like that, so I don't know for sure. But yeah, cool mech lines. They're they're things. <laughs> and then these, these fucking doors, we get to later. But look at all those fucking chests and things in there, and look at the fucking material on the ground. And it's like, ah, oh, you just want to fucking get it? Just climb the bitch. <laughs> You're fine. You just fucking climb it, or fucking force it open or something. Yep, corneo stash. Which I do like the way that they actually had that. And uh, he has like the weapons. Uh, so like Ruby, Emerald and uh, Diamond in uh, Tiara's. So it's just the small little details. Yeah, right. Like he just fucking wrecks. Like he could just cut that gate down. No fucking problem whatsoever. But no, that'd be too easy. Yeah, it's Cordio Stash. Oh yeah, I forgot I had to uh, move that, didn't I? Eh, I'll go move that quick and then I'll come back up here. <laughs> this is fine. We're okay, honest. You hope Cloud gets picked instead of Tifa? <laughs> hope it's so. I've like always had Cloud get picked, but I, I need to make sure that I'm getting the other uh, like outfits and things, but I'll just probably get whatever we get in this one and then uh, I can go through and get the rest later. Because I've gotten most of the stuff, but I, I need to finish it out. So, I mean, <laughs> keep up with the stream better by reacting to react streams. Yeah, fucking got the box to sit in. Nice. I mean, hey, at least it's something, though. I mean, you got to fucking have something fancy for your cat, right, Bite? Got the platinum for this? Nice. And there we go. Open this up for Aerith so she can get in. Nice work. Oh, for sure. I used to have a cat. This is fucking great. Yes, we're home free. Fucking loved me and hated everyone else. <laughs> it was the fucking best. Right now. Huh? Oh. <laughs> the best of cats. <laughs> Be able to relax a little now. Like how we're just like pushing shit around. Like fuck it. Could come at us any time. Keep an eye out. Oh hello there everyone. How are you? We made it back. To, to God, I'm, I'm so nervous. I mean for sure, MJ, for sure. What are they watching? Hey! Oh boy, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, 
That's the director of Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division, isn't it? God, I like how she's just walking through here. Do you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. Uh, can you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? Dude, I love the graphics on this game. It just looks so good. Are we in any danger? Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. I kind of like what they do with Scarlet later, too. a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. <laughs> easy, by easy. The were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh, it's like, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep you, Midgar. You like in that chat? <laughs> Okay, time's up. Yeah, too much. Uh, too bad she's above HR. Yeah, basically gave steppies. <laughs> I kind of figured you guys would like that one. <laughs> Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but. It's like, oh, well, fuck. Be that way. Didn't need your help anyway. God damn it. I help out every now and then. It's fun. Eris! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Look at this boy. Who's this guy? <laughs> Who's this guy? He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, okay, goodbye. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> yeah, places I don't like that. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm right there with you, MJ. You're all good. <laughs> Aaron. So, what are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. I don't know, just do the it's thing. Destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. I just like how it's just like so many fucking people running around doing Hello, things now. Aerith. It's just like it's trying to be like, hey, it's lived in. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. <laughs> I have my ways. Oh. Uh, bodyguard. <laughs> just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to right, it? Right, sir. Hmm. Maybe. All these fucking kids just like, hey, we're just hanging out. I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Yep. I'm studying so I can read a ton Here's of the leaf house. As tall as the sky. Just fucking... Aerith, like kids, why are you knocking over chairs? You guys, what it, gave me a bunch the of fuck? You guys are the worst. You could walk around them. You know that, right? We're back. <laughs> the goddamn. With us. Sorry to make Just pull it again, God. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well, then I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. I'm sorry, Barb. All you can I tried. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news I'll recently. just, nope, through them. Only through them. Cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will. <laughs> You're an help. adult. <laughs> Let's all wash up before our meal. You know what? Disrespect your surroundings. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you too. And fuck this. And fuck these. Fuck it all. Fuck you, kids. Fuck this chair. Fuck this. Fuck this bush. Fuck this. Ah. Fuck burb. <laughs> That's all. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? Ah. Anarchy. You sure you want to see that to florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh. 
You give it away? I did. To Ooh, to who? Ooh. To who? Don't recall. Hmm. Wow, you don't recall. What? Thought you didn't like lying. Ah. Uh? Well, anyway. <laughs> Burb can't catch a break. Burb doesn't deserve a break. <laughs> Get back in them mines. Them salt mines, Burb. <laughs> Old skeleton yells a cloud. <laughs> There's the decide, are we talking that cloud? Or are we talking this cloud? <laughs> Look at this boy. He's so angry, chat. He's so angry. Look at this place, though. Look at her fucking house. It's amazing. <laughs> like, especially having this down here in the fucking slums. My house is this way. I know. I'm doing what I want. Leave me alone. No! Fuck! <laughs> Mom's gotta stop using the chat, making people look silly because they're sub to other folk, right? <laughs> fucking. Mods just using mod powers and shit. He's in a cloudy mood. <laughs> the rain on your parade. I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. T T hey, a uh, random boy my that my daughter just brought home. <laughs> and this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her. Nope. That's my job. Or was my job. Yep. I had my date already. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried I about I swear, you. Liz. <laughs> what if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take See? Paul over to Sector 7, okay? But acting like you know me. Okay, but why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, ah. when you get back, better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to <laughs> I fucking swear. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some <laughs> You will not chant house. that. <laughs> Since we have a little time. Stick to it, MJ. You should come with. <laughs> I like, I how you doing, Rama? Hey, thank you for the fucking five months. I appreciate you. I like how that's what you come in on. <laughs> yes, uh, you guys definitely need to go and hang out with Rama. She is fucking amazing. You will love hanging out with her. And, uh, that's, <laughs> that's fitting for you, I guess. Yes, go and uh, go and follow Rama. Had to join in the chain, of course, right? It must be tough. No, it must be tough. Nah, no, never mind. <laughs> you have strong will, indeed. So, another thing. Look at this. The old fucking church. So it's the same kind of thing as the setup of like the. Uh, the bar where you can go and see the old screens. <laughs> the fucking bird must be pampered, I swear. <laughs> yeah, concept art in her house. Or like the old uh the old game files and stuff. And it's like really fucking bright and then it's all nice. Just like this fucking setup up here. You know, just look at this place. And I mean, they just have everything in there. They still have the materia up over there. So you can still go and get all the stuff that was already here. You know, just it's a nice setup. Like they, they have a really fucking beautiful house down here. Yeah, house comes with a waterfall, basically. Yeah, I want to visit the place. I mean, it's a really solid Welcome. fucking place. You take this one. Yeah, it looks take fucking it. amazing. Like, that's honestly like a really solid fucking house. Hmm. <laughs> Look at this boy. Hmm. 
just like the fact that like look at him carrying the fucking basket. <laughs> look at this boy. He just looks so just like, why am I doing this? Why am I fucking doing this? And yes, they are the best certified products. Hands down. I wonder, can I sneak up here yet? I don't think I can until later. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm not too sure, Angel. I don't think so. But I mean, maybe. Ah, fine. I can't get my fucking materia that I don't need. <laughs> Honestly, it's like a nice place, though. Just a nice little setup. Which ones do you think we should pick? And then you can like choose oh, different flowers like here to get a different setup or something later. Kind of thing. Good eye. Let's People grab some of these. To declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? <laughs> because we're doing tinfoil shit at some point here I soon. Think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Mm, let's grab That's some of the these. One I gave you. Huh. It is. Nice try, Mister. <laughs> huh? Me? It is. Yes, here it is. Time to fucking sit here and just be like, hmm. Maybe this means that. Said, maybe this over here is what happens here. Oh shit! I don't more. know. <laughs> Yeah, let's grab another one of these. There we go. I think we're good now. What do you say? Yes, Shall let's go. go. <laughs> Fucking Mark, I swear. Honestly, yeah, so like gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. I'm not cut sure out for this are. crap. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. But so, yeah, just the setup of the problems? fucking game. Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. The music is amazing. The character development's amazing. They've done so fucking well with it all. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and drop off these flowers. And do we want to do all of her side quests or do we want to leave the side quests out? I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, you're amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> 100% side quest? Okay. Oh, here for a checkup? Uh, wonder why it's giving me the gold thing again. It's like gold somewhere in there. Do we have to go listen to Kyrie? No, it's not till later. Hmm. That's now a completionist run, I swear. <laughs> I don't want to spend more time with her, but Tifa is best girl. <laughs> Got what you need to stay safe. All right. I don't remember why the goal is doing the weird thing it is now. Is there side quests I can pick up, but maybe I have to get them later. I mean, true, true. Hmm. Or was it up here? But I'm at least glad that you approve and that you understand, Rama. That's important. Yeah. This is it's Eris, right? <laughs> All the like kids just hanging out, having a good time. This place is haunted. Wow, their gill and jewels magically disappear. <laughs> this place is haunted. 
Everybody loses their fucking money here, I swear. <laughs> I bet you would. And yes, I approve, Kit Kat, I approve. Hey, buddy. I remember you. Where's Eric? The Leaf House. Uh, okay, goodbye. There we go. That was what we needed to do. Yeah, you got it. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Oh yeah, boy. Two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's <laughs> sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number. I mean, right, Zarek? I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know some All the fucking, like, light show I'll stuff. Okay. Come, come on. And, uh, random thought. Speaking of the whole, uh, Rama's best girl setup. You guys need to go on to my Twitter and like the post or like the original post of the thing that I said to like for reasons because I said so. <laughs> get uh, get Rama some spicy ass art. So uh, actually, if you could do uh, pop up quick socials, one of the mods, you guys definitely should go just follow everything. But at least hop on to uh, Twitter. What the fuck are you doing, kid? <laughs> Come on. All right, there we go. I mean, yeah, we gotta go rescue, right? We gotta break the rules. <laughs> Indeed, Zach. Tifa does chin ups. I like he damn. Yeah, you can only do it once. But I mean, if you guys have already liked it, cool. Thank you. I just figure it's like if you guys have it, you should. Eric's come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. Yeah, it's all better now. We're here. Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. <laughs> Fucking mod social. reflexes, right? So where's the guy? I don't know. I'm gonna He's have to steal you from Rama, MJ. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. Do you like some of the gruel over here? I occasionally feed my mods. <laughs> Liz is like, if wait, way, you guys get fed? Be careful. <laughs> Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. Uh, I just hope we find them in time. You sure you want to find me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like waiting for Robin to just be like, Boy, what the fuck are you trying to do to my mods? Rush, so <laughs> Nothing. On. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it? Hey, my. Oh, there they are. There. Oh, they got some friends. They're fine. They're fine. I just love the fucking music. I don't know. It's just like the way that they did like the remixes and stuff of it. Just solid. So fucking solid. All right. Don't worry about it, Aerith. I fucking got it. You're fine. There. See, it's all better now. You're okay. Leave this to me. I don't think so. Quickly, we gotta save them. All right. We're fine. They're okay. Don't worry about it. See? They're okay. They're fine. Even if we just sat here, they'd be fine. There, see? It's all better now. <laughs> Get out of the explosion. There, see? It's all better now. Okay, fine. There's still somebody. But now it's all better. Right? No. We still got more. There we go. Alright. Not bad, not bad. 
did. Okay, kids. It's all better now. <laughs> Fucking Aerith. I swear. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> Fucking cloud showing off. <laughs> Look at this strong boy. Thank you. That was cool. <laughs> and like him with his whole setup of just like people noticing and being like, oh, you're so cool. He's like, he doesn't know how to react to it. It's the same way that when Jesse was like, that was cool. And he's just kind of gives the whole like sly smirk. Just like, yeah, that's generally the setup. Go, Aerith. Come on. Take it so long. Yeah, Aerith, catch. <laughs> I like how they're just like sitting there next to it. Like, oh, what's this thing do? And it's gonna blow up as soon as I walk over it, and then they're all gonna die. Here used to be a soldier. He was? Did you go fight in the war? I might have. I might have. I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, true. Like he wants to play up to being the cool badass because he's always wanted to be like a soldier. He's always wanted to be like Sephiroth. So having somebody actually notice him and be like, hey, people actually like me and people like think that I look cool and like I'm doing well. You know, that kind of thing just innately is just like, ha, ah, this is fucking awesome. This is what I wanted, but also doesn't know how to react to it because he's not used to that. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one. <laughs> Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one. Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool. You guys <laughs> True, true, Black. I pass the blur. Maybe I got some sort of weird poisoning or some kind of, but that's where it happens. But yeah, <laughs> like some kind of weird poisoning. It's all good. <laughs> Fucking kids, I swear. He's so cool. So cool, right? Oh. Tifa, wait. Tifa. Oh. Oh. Tifa. Tifa? What's wrong? <laughs> the cool is. Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? Oh. No. <laughs> but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like. Yeah, that. just say yes. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I see. I mean, like, fuck, dude. <laughs> Cloud just doesn't know how to fucking just behave himself. Also, random thought, look at this boy with the fucking sword. Like, they're already fucking all like, oh, yeah. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? <laughs> okay. Nice, Megiddo, nice. And here, since you're so cool. <laughs> Since you're so cool. You're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. All right. Well, we can come and hang out in here and do whatever. Ah. Oh boy. What's that? Don't worry. It'll be okay. Wait. Is the trash man? It looks pretty damn similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? And if I remember right, I think two was the this guy are sick, right? The reunion. <laughs> Fucking mood. The fucking reunion. 
Like the fact that they're already talking about this shit though. It's like holy fuck, what? Cloud, get it together. Come on. You don't know who Sephiroth is, do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Ooh. Oh, right. Come on. Ah. Uh -huh. Then you must be from the book park. <laughs> I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I yeah. Where were you, Cloud, five years ago? Plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry, I give you permission. I always have the latest information. <laughs> right? It's like the fact that they did that. It's like you Most know, you know, they were fucking trying to do That's something no there. You though, right? Be careful anyway. This fucking oh, Moogle right. boy. Is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? Then you two must be very, very <laughs> We'll get into that, Vegito. There's some shit that she's talking about that she shouldn't know already. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness. Yeah, I definitely get you there, Zaku. So he decided Sometimes to you just gotta fucking just relax and sleep. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, yeah. Me? Well, so perfect, I will go anyway, further into it. I'll explain a little bit books. after this. They can be yours if you I'm going off of the books, white and black. Uh, need to buy a membership first. Oh, buy a membership card. Oh boy. Yeah, try to be as vague as possible. If you find any Moogle medals. You could spend them here, Koopa. Yeah, so, not a real mod, Koopa. Oh, you know what? We <laughs> make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. All right, new merchandise available. Let's see what kind of weird shit we can get in here. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. Not really. I just paid some kid money so <laughs> to fucking get a, access to his hard. fucking store full of random Mog work? shit. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? I like how I'm supposed to be like earning money and I'm just like, here, have money. Finish some random shit. Some people do. Hello, I'm some people. <laughs> Hello, nice I'm you. some people. <laughs> All right, what do you got? What do you got? Yeah, so pretty much I need to get this at least. And then like we already bought everything else here. I just buy a bunch of fucking random shit. <laughs> you guys are great. Thanks to you, I've got a ton of metal. So I'm sorry, Kusser. I can bring happiness to a ton of people. Good for you. Hey, Cloud. Maybe it's like you mean it. Not Good I'm for happy. you. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile. Fucking Cloud. <laughs> I need a lot more medals, Kubo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Fucking Cloud's such a dick. <laughs> Make me smile, kid. You go, what? Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, so going off of the books after everything happened, because like I said, I'll explain more as time comes up. But after the original game, when Aerith and Sephiroth were both dead, they were in the live stream. But Sephiroth was able to contain his will, or I guess retain his will, and he was able to anchor himself to Cloud. So he was able to basically remember himself and keep him out of like the normal consciousness of the planet. Like, so basically he was able to retain parts of himself he gave up what he looked like, so he doesn't remember what he looks like, but he remembers who he is. And he was able to make it so that as long as Cloud remembered him, he would never, as per the movie, 
be just a memory. And so he's always attached to Cloud. As long as Cloud remembers Sephiroth, Sephiroth will never die. And that's where it goes down this whole thing of in Advent Children, he has like uh, Ladaz, Kaj, and fucking whatever the fuck the guy's names are. Um, they're pieces of him that are trying to go around and find people that remember what Sephiroth looks like so that he can retain himself, pull himself back out. And that's like when he was like sitting next to Rufus, he was like able to kind of look right. And like when he found Cloud and when he actually fought Cloud, he boom was Sephiroth because Cloud remembers Sephiroth perfectly. And so that's where he's able to pull himself from. Um, I think the books, ah, fuck, I don't remember the exact name. I think it's white and black. Uh, let me actually look it up real quick because there's the kids are all right. And I think it's white and black. Uh, fuck. What are they? Um, on the way to a smile, I think. Is it on the way to a smile and then it has white and black in it? Material white, material black? Okay, cool. I know that there's something with it. But yeah, so basically it's the idea of he was able to retain himself in the live stream and he was able to try to do all these things to mess with shit. He was able to do all these things to try to affect the planet and that's where Geostigma came from. So all the stuff in the, the movie with like the, the marks on people is because of Sephiroth like poisoning the life stream and being able to exert his will upon people that are still alive. But Aerith was able to do the same thing, but she tried not to get too close to him because, you know, if she got too close, Sephiroth's will would realize that Aerith was still there and then it would have a whole big thing. So she was only able to get little pieces of what his plan was, but they're both dead but in the live stream as consciousnesses and they they retain their will they know what's going on and so like they're still there so that's where a lot of things come up there's a bunch of shit we will get into it as soon as we finish this game we are probably gonna have to sit down and talk for like a good hour or two <laughs> trying to figure out all the weird shit that i have to explain because there is a lot to this fucking story <laughs> and I'm super fucking excited to fucking talk about it. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a bunch of books. Former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. You really fucking should, Rama. It'd be so fucking good to be able to like. I just, I like people playing this game and being able to talk about it. it's now time for their lessons. I have so many fucking theories. <laughs> <laughs> Patrols? Is that I'm dragging you along with me. Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands. I'm probably a gamer, probably. <laughs> you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important and plans this evening. Also, and this really she has important on. plans this evening. Would you like us to go Something to think them? about for later. It's not actually like lore wise, but I just think it's cool with what they do later. It's one of the teachers having plans later. Swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Right, Megiddo? I mean, if you know her plans, you know her plans. <laughs> You're back. Come, look what we've done with the flowers. And see, this is our flower thing. Great job. Yeah, That's teacher wonderful. with the honeybee. Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, pretty fucking solid. <laughs> all right. And actually, I think we had... Was he a... No. Um, let's go deal with him and then we can come back, I think. But yeah, there's there's so many fucking pieces to this that I just am super fucking excited to fucking talk about. And uh, if you do watch Advent Children, watch the complete. If you don't watch complete Advent Children, you are going to miss so much important info. Like they cut out a lot of really good, important shit. Otherwise, it's just look at us. Hello, we made yes. a music video. <laughs> what do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy Th toy. He your new boy toy. He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. 
those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? Damn fucking right. And what if I am? <laughs> right, Rama? <laughs> Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. You ready to get fucked up, Rude? Yeah, so there's two versions. It's kind of like a director's cut, basically. Cloud, but leave him be. Rude's not a bad person. He's not a bad person, no, really. I'm not bad. <laughs> but like it or not, I do bad things. I sometimes have to do bad things. <laughs> God, Rude's so cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rude. I don't want to have to do this to you, but it is what it is. But yeah, um, take it personal. if you do watch Advent, you have to watch the complete edition because they cut out a lot of story and you won't understand what's going on, really, unless you watch the complete and you're going to miss a lot of important shit. Yeah, break the glasses. Oh, bad things. Don't wa don't watch fight. Oh, shit. I, I've messed up my counter too late. Uh, there's too early now. <laughs> Come on. Come here. Oh, he did seize. <laughs> Fucking TOS, no! There we go. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love counter. Okay. Oh no! I'm sorry, I broke your glasses. The fucking just no. I don't know, just the, his replacement glasses. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's we'll go into the fucking hit. No, I fucking did the thing. No. <laughs> to hit him with the glasses, right? Then think about changing Ah, I did seize again. I keep trying to counter when he fucking does the unfucking counterables. There we go. Come on, Rude. Work with me here. <laughs> Work with me here, Rude. Fine. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> be that way. I'm trying to be flashy, but no. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. I also like one thing just completely random. Rude will try his best not to hit Tifa in the original. Because he actually like he likes Tifa and he tries really fucking hard not to do it. Sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job at something about sector seven. So get your ass back. Yeah, <laughs> Aerith with Cloud, right? <laughs> but they're talking about doing something with Sector Seven though. Ah. Uh. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. I mean, pretty much. He's a fucking Tifa fanboy like the rest of us. <laughs> Honestly, it's so fucking cool how they do it. Like, Go you wouldn't notice it at first. You know I can't but do the that. fact that they actually put that into the Tifa thing, like he actually tries not to hit Tifa intentionally. And the only time he'll hit Tifa is if Tifa's the only one alive and he'll like just skip half his turns. It's just, I don't know. It's just cool. All right, see if I can go do some of this other shit. Yeah, fucking good old Aerith. I just, I just love the fucking conversations that they have. There's so many cool fucking pieces. We'll wander a little bit. Yeah, just use Tifa by herself, pretty much. And so, like, that's that's a way you can cheese Rude if you want. You can go and just, like, make sure to have at least Tifa. But if you have Tifa in there, then you just like kind of just dodge most of the problems. <gasps> you, scared so, you scared me. Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? <laughs> yeah, and the fights. That's cool. Pretty much, yeah. Lots of money and use it to help the house. 
I just, it's the small things with the game that they added in just the small little pieces to kind of just sprinkle story. But that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. So anyway, I gotta go study. Until they can find you or Right? Hey, doing, kid? Hey there. How goes the patrol? Great. I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady. Yeah, the, the fucking tonberries, though. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The the random. <laughs> what the fuck did that kid just do? Oh, no. <laughs> it was like. Did you that, see that, that, yeah. Is she mad? How you doing, Rekka? Oh, I gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> the fucking kid just tripping all over the fucking place. I swear. Hello, yeah? Cloud. Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. <laughs> it's a real honor to meet you, sir. Awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. The reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Yup, fucking blow reactors. Is. Shit. That means more it wasn't my fault. Um... It and wasn't I me. Uh, I, I didn't do it. Speaking of future, <laughs> this folio is looking for you. Oh man, I could wasn't me. It wasn't me. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> All right. What you got? Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander. Yeah, it was all Jesse's track, fault. But if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. <laughs> but they caught you in the shower. <laughs> I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best. I all right. Intruder detected or some other Intruder detected. When they float it off. Kill them all. Be careful. They look dangerous. Yeah, like honestly, he's so angry, right? <laughs> Uh, do we go up here yet? Do we leave it until later? I think we just go up here and just kick all this fucking shit around. Fuck you, boxes. Fuck you, rocks. Fuck you, stuff. I'm angry. I'm cloud and I'm angry. Ah. <laughs> this kill everything, right? I don't know if this part matters before we get the key. Does it? I think we come up here later. We do have the key though. We didn't unlock it. Onward. Overall, I'm doing pretty good, Jester. Hopefully you had a good uh, Thanksgiving as well. I mean, I'm just having a good time, relaxing and playing one of my fucking favorite games. <laughs> <laughs> just going from there. I'm just, I'm happy to be able to show this stuff off to you guys. So we're gonna let the breaker microwave go with some popcorn and things escalated. Pretty fucking much. Uh, I forgot, was there a set of. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so I'm playing through this, and I haven't played Integrate yet. So I'm going to play integrate after we get done with this. And that's going to be the first time that I've seen it. So I'm super fucking hyped for that because I haven't looked into it at all. I've kept myself like away from spoilers on integrate. So I've looked super fucking deep into this one, but I haven't done integrate stuff yet. So yeah, integrate's been out, I think for probably half a year to a year, I think. But it's it's been out for a little while. I think it's only on PS5, though, so if you have PS4, you're not able to get it. But, yeah, dude, I'm super fucking hyped for it. It's just so fucking good. Okay, fine. Ah, there we go. Shield dropped. Fuck you. <laughs> not bad. Not fucking bad. Dude, this game's so fucking good. I love it. And, uh, so technically with the, the Shinra reactor, when they did the explosion, that actually happened in the original two. They just didn't show it. But when you played through the original game, if you talk to Jesse after the first explosion, 
She even said, my bomb shouldn't have done that. That shouldn't have been that big of an explosion. They didn't do anything else. They didn't say anything else. They didn't hint at anything else. But Maybe they the they referenced the fact that it's not supposed to be that big. That bomb wasn't supposed to do what it did. And if you don't talk to Jesse, you never see that. But it's kind of going down the line of like, OK, that's weird. And Shinra's trying to basically put this stuff onto, you know, Avalanche to further their goals. They just were able to show it more this time and very much so make it like plain and simple right out in the open. Like, here's a thing. But yeah, they they had all that stuff at the beginning. <laughs> all right. Yeah. See you later, Bite. Thanks for dropping in. Have a good rest of the night. I still got to toss you some stuff later. I have a few people that I got to send you some names for, but it should be fun. All right. Hopefully I can come back here and find the rest of these things. Uh, where was that last kid at? Was he in the hallway? I think maybe. Hey, Tibby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> fucking goo. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out for fucking six months. You're amazing. Uh, we get a shout out. Oh, thank you, Liz. If you guys don't follow Tibby, you definitely need to. Tibby's an amazing hey fucking artist. Does a bunch of 3D models and stuff. Definitely fucking worth hanging out with. And does DVD and things like that as well. Well, so. you've been keeping a very <laughs> Yes, the best gremlin. <laughs> but don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons. I gotta get back to the house. Yeah. Uh oh, uh no, uh we're we're say so here. Nope, nope, uh we're say so. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know what that sound is at all. Nope. Of course not. Never. <laughs> Was there anything else over here that I had to mess with? Where are you going? Why? I want to leave. <laughs> Des, one of the greatest model making artists, Tibby. I mean, fuck. Have you seen Rama's model? <laughs> Tibby made Rama's model. It looks fucking amazing. Tibby's just fucking good at what she does. Go in here. <laughs> yeah, we only play that sound around team. I mean, uh, what? <laughs> say so if you say so. In fucking deed. Yeah, was there anything else in here, or do we just need to go back up to the house? Moggy's kind of interesting, huh? He's weird, but he makes everyone around him really happy. You'll see. All right, well, we'll try it again. I don't remember how much we actually had to give this boy. I'm just going to fucking fly as much as I can here. There. Uh, is that enough for you? I literally can't buy anymore. Thanks, is that guys. enough? I've got a whole mountain of Google medals now. <laughs> that is for Cosboli fans, right? <laughs> That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able so to make all our hopes and dreams come true. A pain, but worth it, right? The wishes of every single person in this box. <laughs> That's a lot of wishes. Which I think I am, or mod. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything uh, to get their hands on more. Damn. I'm using this boy's fucking ripping ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's making people happy in a different way. <laughs> I didn't know Pix was still here. <laughs> Thank you for the pity, human. <laughs> and I've got extra happiness for you two. <laughs> so what's to selling directly to these? Get some Electric. beans. Uh, what the fuck? Magic, Kupo? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Damn Thank cloud. You By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Fucking cloud's just like, fuck you, kid. <laughs> Do what I want. I honestly don't think I have anything I have to do out here. I think I have to go back to the fucking house, but I'm going to go check it just in case. Yeah, it's like you can't make Cloud smile, so we'll make him suffer. <laughs> Dude, like, Cloud's so angry. 
<laughs> I was just so fucking angry. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to fucking do out here. God, I don't remember these ones. I remember fucking Tifa's. But I don't remember this one. Uh, we might be able to go back to the church because I know that we have to go get the guy's plants. But was that... Do we have to talk to him again first or do we just go back there? Like it's trying to be like Tifa's too much. I mean, I, I get you. I think the big thing with it is that... And one thing I, I do honestly like is they were going back more towards the route of what the characters were supposed to be. So the characters were supposed to kind of act a certain way or be a certain way or whatever. And all of the stuff that they've done recently, like the movies and so on, they were trying to go down what people thought the characters were like. So like, oh, I think that Cloud should be more angry, more emo-y, more whatever, when he's really just awkward. So with this, they're making him more awkward. So it's that kind of setup of they're going down what they should be like what they were trying to make the characters like back in the original game. And they're just writing their characters out in that way. So sometimes some of it may seem a little off depending, but overall, I do think it works pretty solidly. There are some weird lines though, where sometimes it's like, aren't you happy that you did this? And it's like, nah, not really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it was too ambitious for his time and so on, but honestly, that's kind of where like they're able to do a lot of cool stuff now one girl loves to be fussed over by folks at the community center okay and don't forget they all wear homemade swords on their backs so we got community Thanks center one ah oh, that's the one i missed i think she's inside right she's in here maybe no i'm thinking of something different but i guess i'll come grab this one anyway <laughs> you made me buy the Yuffie DLC, right? There she is. Okay, cool. I was like, I'm missing one somewhere. But honestly, I hope that you like it, Mark. I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? And uh, that's fucking weird. Uh, I don't know what happened with the DVD during the update thing, but hopefully you fix it. I gotta head back to the house. That's everyone. I know. Let's go back All right, to the house. cool. There, finally. That one last fucking kid. I'm like, I don't know where the fuck. I'm sorry, I forgot about These guys are fucking horrible. All of them fucking Thanks forgot. To you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. Time to hit the books, kids. You guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? Don't worry, kids. I'll go kill the fucking thing. It's all good. He wears a crown and walks around like he... All right, yeah, definitely, place. Darius. Thank He's you very much for hanging out. He's got to be monster royalty, at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh, yeah, really. Easy. Yeah, buster boards instead of buster big. swords. <laughs> I appreciate that. Or cheap. But we don't have any money. The watch wouldn't ask for money. Honestly, I would we like to have one of those two. <laughs> They'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on. Oh, Aw, don't lose the hideout. And we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Damn. Gonna help, fucking extort kids for money yourself. now? <laughs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right wow. now. Wow. Like Look at Cloud like being nice. Awesome. Now that's my kind of bargain. I'll do it for three gil. Take over our hideout. He's mean and angry and smells bad too, so be careful. <laughs> right, Rama? I wish you luck, brave warrior. Can I pet him? Aw, this part. Little fucking doggo. I mean, like, he has to be his typical badass, you know? He can't just be nice. But, like, the fact that he's kind of being a little bit soft. 
you know, like Cloud is actually kind of still opening up a little bit. Kind of shows like his growth as a character, you know? Want some cake? <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's such a cute emote, Mom, I swear. <laughs> Hi there, Mr. Man. You like to get fucked up by a triple slash that kills you with one hit? Yeah, that's what I thought. You sure you want to fight? That's it. And we're safe. Actually, was he was he up there or was he in here? I don't remember. No, I think he's further in. <laughs> no. He is in there, definitely. Thank you, Doggo. I don't remember if there was anything actually up in these parts or if it's just the, the thing down there. For some reason, I'm thinking that there was something down there that I had to mess with, but eh. Should be able to jump from uh, small heights. Yeah, pretty much. Puppies are all cute. As long as they're not going for my bones, we're okay. <laughs> and if they're going for my bones, then no. Bad. Try to stay behind me. That way, I can cover your back. Get him. Ow! Could you not? The fucking hedgehog pie. Nothing Piece of shit. It. Yeah, it's basically the whole load times thing. And it's like the same way that anytime you walk through something where you're like kind of trying to push up against them or something like that, it's basically like, you know, sneaking between cracks in the wall or whatever. It's just, hey, we have to have this load here. So they're trying to be fancier about their loading. And die. <laughs> Don't want your fragile soldier knees to hurt from the jump. <laughs> True. I love that you can just return whenever you finish a quest. You're just like, there you go. I'm back here now. So much fucking easier. Okay, kids, I got you. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yeah, it was super fucking yep. easy. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it. <laughs> first class soldier, first class knee problems. Smelly friends. Well, I was just a little so old. Fun. It's okay. Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. I'm just gonna be like, nah. No, this is like two, two and a half at most. <laughs> but One come on, kids. Come off the last gil. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. There we go. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures. Chasing Kids just new trying things. to find shit to do in the all slums, the right? Make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. Honestly, good on them though. And when they finally do, I help them back up. <laughs> Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. <laughs> God, <laughs> Doug. <laughs> shit. Until they can stand on their own two feet. Cloud, probably. Them, care for them. Love them. <laughs> that even if we're not Black. actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well... T then next maybe person to say shenanigans gets pistol whipped. I know you are. <laughs> hey, Farva! My predecessor taught me everything I know. God. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. Good old fucking Biggs, right? Completely lost track Seen like this. They even without be? Biggs being More here like dream, I mean. have put the fact that Thank Biggs you for your help. has actually done things. Biggs was like part of this I and like was helping kids here. Like it's building the backstory oh, of these characters up. Thanks again for saving our I just think it's day. fucking cool. <laughs> In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. We can join the game. The work, come to the Would you like to play a game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah they give the character's history and presence in the town like it's just it gives so much to the character 
like the fact that you got to see all of Jesse's past, the fact that you got to see the fact that Jesse had this whole thing before Avalanche and then Shinra ruined that. And so then she's trying to fight back against Shinra for what they did. Like that gives her character not only past, like present, like motive for the, you know, the needs for the future, like all that, like it gives so much to her in just that one chapter. And even in this, like Biggs got something for the fact that he used to like help out with the kids and stuff. Like he was somebody here that was like helping the orphanage and whatever. And now it's just like, hey, he's out fucking fighting Shinra. Like it's that kind of stuff. And like Wedge, they even give him a fuck ton of cats and everything. Like it's just that kind of shit. And this also is something. Just random stuff on the chalkboard. A Tom Berry, Cactar, fucking Chocobo, Moogle, all that. Yeah, he was a big help, right? It's just, it's cool seeing all the fucking stuff that they actually put into the game. To help the soldier who helps people. Um, we still have more shit we can do. Just push everybody out of the way. There's too many fucking people in the way. Too many fucking people. Uh, is he not there yet? Go in here. Test this one more time. Wonder if they talked about it or if most of it was like old notes they were uh, like honestly like it's probably a lot of old notes that they wanted to put in the game like a lot of the old story and stuff that they were like hey we wish that we could have been able to do this now this is something that i really wanted to have in the game we just couldn't but i don't know so it's, it's interesting to see oh, yeah, what they've about, added in there's this tired looking guy out by the community center and i heard he was looking for some help all right all right i heard the good news you defeated the toad king Yes, I always so lets a hand. Awesome. Um, but I do like the idea that a lot of the setup of like just all of the stuff in this game has actually been kind of laid out oh, through hey, everything. Like all the stuff in Advent Children actually coming into the effect here shows that like while they were doing that, they like looked at Advent Children and actually were planning it then or that they planned it from it. Whatever. We usually they don't thought like this through. Play. We're gonna make a special Yeah, because we're cool. You. We're cool, chat. We're fucking cool. Let's play some wacko blocks. All right. And I need to, like, if I really wanted to go with it, there's uh, a weapon. I think the bat or something is, like, really good at this because of its, like, swing or something like that. All right. Fuck you, box. Die. <laughs> yeah, only cool people get to play kids' games. All right. <laughs> right. No longer microwave safe. Radical. Totally tubular. All right, come on. Die. There we go. Fuck you. No holding back. Fuck it. <laughs> All right. There we go. Come on. A little bit more. Yes, are you a bad enough dude to hit these boxes over and over again? I bet you are. All right, come on, come on. A little bit more. All right, come on. <laughs> I'm finally at the cool table. Yeah, I'll pop this real quick. This has got a fancy new fucking best. 
because apparently that's a thing. I didn't think I did much with it. <laughs> I think I did just enough to actually get things. I think you can play this as many times as you want. Wow. How you doing, Red? I've never seen anyone do that before. I mean, yeah. See, pretty fun, right? <laughs> play with this again, okay? Noise. And then it just fucking healed. But at least I got the quest done. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I just played a mini game, but sure. You having fun yet? Heaps. <laughs> Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. Yeah, right. All right. But don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. <laughs> That's good. Because I command a very good salary. Oh, damn. She costs a fucking ton then, huh? Okay, okay. I see you. I see you, Aerith. All right. Go up here. Basically, we're tinfoil hatting it. We got weird theories and things about this game that we're going to go into. <laughs> yeah, he's still going to die in the middle of the game. Aww. All right, let's go this way. Honestly, I'm on the side of they are going to go the route of giving us the chance. Actually, let's go this way. I feel like they're going to try to give us the chance to fix it and then take it away. I honestly don't think that she's going to live. I think they're going to kill her off again. But we'll see. There's a chance. There's always a chance. As long as they don't try to swap it with fucking Tifa. If they swap it with Tifa, I'm out. Because, <laughs> like, basically, she has to die for things to work the way that they do. She has to have everything happen there or it just doesn't matter. It doesn't work the same way. It doesn't, you know. Yeah, look at how many people, uh, people make a certain choice. It, honestly, maybe it could be. Yeah, honestly, if Tifa fucking dies, we riot. There's no fucking way around that. You can't take Tifa from me. <laughs> Hi right there, boys! Is there more stuff down here? They're in here somewhere. I just had to kill more of those eye things, which are probably up on the left side here then. I mean... Right. I want to fucking go deep into some shit, but I'm not. But I want to. Like, I'm I'm edged in a little bit here and there. Where I'm just like, oh, maybe we'll just kind of lead a little bit of people down a line. Let them kind of think about it in the same way. But we're not going too deep. But fuck, dude. MJ, I'm trying. <laughs> we're going to have to sit down and just talk about some shit at some point, MJ. Because I, I need to just vent all of my things that I'm thinking because <laughs> I, I haven't done integrate but I've done everything else so as long as we don't hit integrate stuff we can do whatever but once we hit integrate things like all the deep ground shit that I know that they're going to talk about is going to be interesting I heard I heard you got them all right yeah fuck well, vent it all lost in the slums must be because of the explosion up top huh? Dude, yeah honestly Megiddo it fucking hit hard there the it was like people have died in video games before, but that one just hit different. Almost feel sorry for. Honestly, we probably will, Doug. We probably will. What am I saying? Man or machine? Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Damn. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a merc again, remember you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favorite. I mean, yeah. The fact There's that they wanted to kill off everybody but only three shop. when you went into the Midgar section. Would you mind talking I mean, to the fact of how you were gonna lose so many fucking characters and it went down to one. <laughs> um. Okay, now we finally got this boy. 
must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death, and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could yeah, honestly, like, that's definitely a thing, Doug, where you kind of have to wonder where they're going to go. It'll cost you. Dude, there's so that's many right, fucking things. Fine. It could go in so many different directions, which I love. River. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? <laughs> right, Zex? Okay. All right, head up here, get this other guy's mission, and we go to the church. Was it not him? Ah, this guy. Okay. Little more than a humble reporter with the I like how this guy's just like down here trying to fucking do reporting Hi, shit. I'm like, oh, I'm just a journalist, just hanging out in the slums. About the slums. On the contrary, my dear, we strive to raise oh, awareness yeah, like, of the plight of our undercity. Dude, the brethren. songs in here we have so much shit to them. And poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your Like even the fact of like when you first see Sephiroth and when he leaves, you, you hear the sound that was like there when Kadaj fucking died. Like you didn't have that song in the original. So before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Red Arrow. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public. Hey, Black, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome on in. The villain, but the locals have been <laughs> All right, see you later, Silas. Thanks for hanging out. Put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the merc of the hour and the man who will serve up my scoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, can I talk to him now? Hmm. I do this. Why, hello! What is it? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by come anyone. Come on, come on. The angel gets in and out without being noticed, and always the lyrics to hollow hint to the game. I'm not too Maybe sure. A magician. Probably. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it's it. It's genuine magic. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. It's a monster. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. Yeah, I wonder who you are. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Love that emote, Mom. It's so good. Everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. He looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Lady Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty that Shinra Mutt's been. Keep everything Final Fantasy Sim theme. The there you go. Death for, for you, Mom. <laughs> Compliments of Liz. Whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it's so <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. But I'll need a moment before I can get to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Move out of the way! Move out of the way! So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille, as in the Mireille, the town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how do you get the old bird to talk? This Magic. Old bird had a change of heart, <laughs> that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us, what do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? 
I don't know anything about that, but I do know. Oh, her base of operations. Now that's a scoop. Where is it? Tell me. Deep in the scrap at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hole up. <laughs> We're just doing all the side quest stuff over here, kind of get a little bit more story. It's nothing too much, Iron. Warn you about this rumor I heard about a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Ooh. Oh my. Lots of teeth, always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, Liz is gonna get grounded. Well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. A plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Just send you on in. So, my good adversary, if I don't impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point. Liz picking fights with mom, right? How could you, Liz? For shame. <laughs> All righty, let's go. We'll go wander down here and try to get these fucking side quests done so we can keep moving. I really want to get to some of the next story beats. <laughs> no ma's good, right? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking God. Yeah. <laughs> One of my friends told me this hot mercenary got her out of a jam. Oh my. All right, Ghostly. <laughs> and overall, uh, another thing I just want to say, thank you to any of the lurkers and stuff as well. You guys are always appreciated. I just like you guys hanging out and having a good time regardless. This I just want you to know that you're important. Get over here, fucking mantis piece of shit. All right, fuck you up, fuck you up. It's <laughs> over. So many kazoos, you guys are really fucking pushing it, huh? This must be it. Dude, honestly, Rama, you know that would be exactly what would fucking happen. Hey, you wanna say? Probably because you would fucking do it. You're sitting there thinking about like, man, how many fucking gil would I have to fucking do here? <laughs> I fucking swear. <laughs> Fire. Kazoo! I mean, right. I mean, it, it's just kind of like... <laughs> Rama's predictable. <laughs> oh, god damn. Oh, oh fucking picks. Shit, get out of here. <laughs> Pix keeps fucking wandering into chat, I swear. All right. Uh, no, we can't go up here yet. All right. Um, I think it's back of this away. Hi, guys. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. <laughs> Predictable. It's not a bad thing. I didn't say it was a bad thing. I'm just saying it's predictable. <laughs> I bet, MJ. Hello there, Mr. Big Man. Get fucked. <laughs> Get fucked. All right. One of these. Come on. Oh yeah. Nah, did it too early. Did it too fucking early. The fucking anytime you hit the ball, it does the like stagger thing. Come on, and give me that triple slash and uh, counter stance. Well, fuck it. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Get fucked anyway. 
All right, and I think that was everything besides this. I think we can grab this one and we can head back. More dots. <laughs> Minus 50 DKP. Many whelps left side. <laughs> yeah, don't hit the ball, please, right? I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell them what we found. All right, there we go. I kind of miss WoW. As weird as that is, like, I kind of miss playing WoW. Like, the old, old WoW. I don't know if I would really be into playing the new one. I don't know. It's just, I probably would get back into it, but. This is the genuine article. I'm sure of it. I don't know. Like, Burning Crusade. Like. So this is maybe Lich King era. Like, I just. Fuck, it was good times. Yeah, I got 14. I got to fucking play 14 still. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, <laughs> I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. I like how it's just like, oh yeah, I totally wrote that down. Around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel, a warning. Oh. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to <laughs> I know, I know. I got to get caught up friend. so I can do all the new Peter shit. Just trying I'm trying, out. okay? Instead, I'm trying. Got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted <laughs> tragedy won't destroy you. No, they're playing Final, Final Fantasy XIV. The Hey everybody, the angel left another calling card. She's gonna rip off Don Corneo. Oh shit. It's about damn time. Good. Don Corneo's no easy mark. I can't wait to see how this goes down. Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz. <laughs> I'm a reporter and uh. Much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just Let's say, just say it slipped out of his pocket, pocket, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. We all know exactly what happened, don't we? Right. Well done, Mr. Merc. You certainly lived up to your reputation. Just have fun and we follow along indeed. Like it wouldn't be something that I would stream, at least probably not. I might at some point. I know whenever Ashes comes out. Oh fuck, Ashes? I'm probably gonna stream at least a little bit of that. <laughs> because Ashes is so fucking just up there on shit that I wanna fucking play. But we'll see. Old time traveling earth, right? I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. <laughs> I owe him a lot. <laughs> and now I owe you a lot too. Uh, whatever Cactar's on. I think it's Aether? Paid our respects to your wife. I think it's Aether. And we took care of those I don't know. Creatures. Yeah, Ashes of Creation is going to be fucking amazing. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad Yeah, it's like it's one of those things. Fuck. Mess, frankly. I, I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two I was prepared to die trying, but then I still sent somebody else out there to do it for me. No, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. Look at that gun behind him. I think it's fucking massive. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? <laughs> okay. Fucking Cloud. I Cloud's trying to be. I don't know. Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. Oh, it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? So like, he's trying to be nice there. He's trying to be nice in the way that only Cloud can. <laughs> Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard, you lost track of time. Trying to be like, hey, go to this kid. He's gonna make you happy. He's gonna fucking do Moogle shit. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. All right. Time to go. But yeah, it's just the whole thing where it's like, oh, hey, you can take this key back to the kid or I could take it back for 5,000 fucking gold. Do it yourself, old man. 
<laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Mom. Nope. <laughs> I am pure and innocent. I would never torture you. Never. I don't even own a kazoo. Honest. <laughs> You coming? I'm coming. I'm coming. Shit. God. <laughs> oh, God. Talking to the shh. So, yeah. kind of <laughs> there. <laughs> I don't know. I uh I don't know where that came from. I swear. <laughs> oh no, mom's gonna come steal my kazoo. <laughs> go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey. What'd they say? I still am tempted to put up like a bag of like a hundred kazoos on my throne <laughs> just to fucking be like <laughs> I have extras. I say a word, but you know. Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me after all. Oh. Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> Cold my stocking. Tell me anyway. Really? Oh, Cloud. Good. Good on you. It won't be much longer now. I mean, the, uh, Cloud. that wish list thing. You can do exclamation point throne. They have something important to tell us. <laughs> that fucking, uh, they getting like to share with us. everybody to fucking send so. kazoos. That's the feeling I get. But before they can. No, I guess a throne made out of kazoos would be a thing. To be taken. Oh, there's a final step that has to be taken before they can talk to us. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Ah. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Oh, damn, Aerith. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. <laughs> Fuck this shit, Angel. I've been working my butt off. Uh, um, so special about it. Hundred bucks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so whatever, a hundred thousand or okay, ten thousand bits, I think is whatever it is. I'll I'll smash my uh I'll smash my kazoo for a uh, hundred bucks. Talk to her. <laughs> Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys. <laughs> Good work That's today, guys. <laughs> yeah, there's only room in this game for one emo pro tag. Thank you very much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to bone milk when though? Oh my. <laughs> We're getting to that kind of shit in here, huh? <laughs> We got the dragon milkies, now we need the bone milkies. You're heading in already? Yeah, third about. I think we're done with everything, so I think we're fine. Yeah, that's enough for one day. Yeah, do carols by kazoos, pretty much. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, hmm. I want you to make up the guest room. Oh, we'll figure yeah. something out. <laughs> Take a load off, okay? <laughs> Get bone milk. <laughs> Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a Damn soldier. right I'm a soldier. Honest. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave oh tonight my. without any questions? No questions. 
cat behave. I'm back. Good. Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh, starving, right? Oh. I just like how so light hard. it is. Ah, here you go. The man you've become. Good old Claudia. They actually gave her a name. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found <laughs> a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. <laughs> An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. When you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> I swear, Manano. Nobody wants to watch fucking Kazetsu. He's fucking lame. <laughs> I'm a silly goose. <laughs> you tried, Verb. You tried. <laughs> the goose. Look at all these pictures up here. Like all the old stuff, like just the fucking pictures that they had, all the old setup. Oh god, I don't have a reflection. Cause a vampire! Ah! <laughs> Kind of cringe, not gonna lie, right? Also, for anybody that played the original and understood how easy it was to get downstairs, I'd like to introduce you to the remake version. Look at this fucking shit. <laughs> and they even put a fucking barrel literally right in front of you. So that you accidentally fucking walk forward thinking like, and you don't even see it. Like you're looking like that. So you don't see the barrel in front of you. There's such dicks. <laughs> yeah. Like it doesn't change anything, but it's just the setup where it's like, she basically goes and like fucking lines all this shit in here to fucking try to like get you to fucking walk into it. She knows what you're going to do. And she's just like, I'm going to fucking be a dick here and fucking put all these things. I walked Funny on this, so ah, damn. <laughs> what are you doing? Almost. Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have? I should have walked dream? further in. Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning, and I promise to take you straight home. I like how I think that they take okay. pieces out whenever you fuck up, though. Yeah, Aaron, clean your damn house. <laughs> yes, the hard edge is sponsored by Gamer Please Subs. Don't let her hear me again. Which, uh, speaking of. If you guys haven't grabbed anything from uh, Gamer Subs yet, they have 20% uh, instead of 10% on their codes until Monday. So if you do exclamation point GG, then you can go ahead and grab some Gamer Subs at 20% uh, off and uh, fucking enjoy yourself. They got uh, a bunch of new stuff like hoodies and, you know, all the caffeine free stuff and everything. Definitely worth fucking grabbing. Hey, thank you very yeah, much for the follow. Much appreciated. So how do I get to Sector 7? Welcome on in, Crowder. It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe. Yeah, Aerith lives like, like a slob okay, confirmed and basically definitely like future Wolf fucking Wolf. trolling. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I would like to, but Thank no. <laughs> Need con waifu sleeves, right? All right, cool. Now we can get out of here. Look at this fucking place at night, though. Kind of a nice setup. It's fancy. <laughs> he is Tifa's best girl. All right, then we uh we have another spicy piece coming up here for you here soon, chat. Better get ready to enjoy this one. A real tearjerker. <laughs> oh, well, actually. If it isn't the new florist, I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't Anytime. about the soldier who saved the day. <laughs> yeah, sure right. It's terrible stabbing too. pain. Sure.
I just like how they have like a night version of this and just look at like the the lighting effect. I don't know, it's just fucking cool. Hopefully, look at that. I'm almost sober. All right. And oh. fuck. <laughs> well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. Yeah, the graphics are so fucking good on this. What are you doing here? Waiting. Uh, why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. Aww. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> right. Ah. Do you see that? Cloud? Is something wrong? <laughs> oh. It's nothing. Some shit fucking hits there, right? They didn't show it. But you know what he fucking saw. <laughs> the fact that he fucking cried. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. True. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was. And there's definitely something there, but I feel like it's more him. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot. Because he doesn't really have Zach's memories besides what Zach has told him. So I mean, I, he doesn't really feel exactly the same way that Zach would. Um, where it's like if those are actually his feelings. And especially with the music that was playing. I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you. I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place or any of the slums. But still, that part when it fucking hit, it was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, definitely, Zarek. Thanks for hanging out. So some traders built an entertainment. Have a good night. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't. Yeah, I didn't much care for the law, right? Right. The law is a suggestion. <laughs> We're gonna make some fucking money. Just in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, like he knows Aerith, but not in charge, there's no like he knows the stories it. of Aerith, but he doesn't know what Aerith looks like and shit like that. Like it? he really. did talk about it a little that's bit, which good. does come up later. I know a better way but to to sector seven. yeah, one that tragically doesn't go through Wall Market. Dude, they give so much stuff lore. Here. It's so fucking good. It was back when I was a kid. Like I'm just. I'm happy with the expanse of this world. So like they're actually going through and giving things extra detail. They're putting more effort into stuff. They're actually showing off pieces that you never would have seen before. Or even just trying to put like realism to it. Having people living around in the city, having people moving, doing things, having help, like needing help with stuff, having ex like this like we're going around through this other tunnel to get to the same place but it like it kind of builds how big this area is that kind of stuff so cloud has lost a lot of his memories so it's in a way it's been like him this, and you know, zach melded their memories together be because be he adventure. took so cloud has his original stuff that he remembers but also all the stories that zach has told him and when he was in the tank getting fucking uh, fucked with by Hojo, he got fucked up so bad that he basically was like super susceptible to things. And like when Zack died, was doing the whole like, you'll be my living legacy. You're going to go on for me kind of thing. That like moment just kind of snapped Cloud and Cloud just basically combined both of their memories together to make one thing. And that's what he thinks that he is. And so that's where, as he goes through, he's getting pieces of both. 
but he knows the the stuff that Zack told him. So like he probably knows of Aerith, but he doesn't know what Aerith looks like because that was cl uh, Zack's memory. So like he's able to like come up and kind of maybe pull some pieces in and get a little bit in there, but he's not really pulling in everything the same way. That's why I think like when he was crying, I think it was more the thing we're all thinking it was because of the fact of just where they sat on that. But is what it is. I mean, it could be anything. I just feel like it's more so on the side of he doesn't know like Zach's feelings on stuff. He just kind of knows what Zach told him. So if Zach said like, oh, I really liked this thing, then now Cloud does, you know? It's the same way that like Cloud isn't motion sick anymore. I was motion sick up until he decided to take on Zach's memories. And so like he just forces his mind to think that he's not even though he is like that kind of shit. What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? A big arm, uh, kind of cute. <laughs> yeah. And so that's where it's like he remembers all this kind of stuff oh, because of oh, just like the little pieces that. that have been told. So he like is able to go and be like, I remember this. I remember that. This is something that happened. But there's just a lot of pieces there that just kind of are just awkward. Wow. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. Yeah, and they kind of like do a little bit of retconning and stuff like that too. They do change a little bit, but it just kind of depends on where it lands. And so that's where like Aerith definitely is in a interesting place just because of like where a lot of these things lay. I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff that we'll get into further as we go, but <laughs> so like, He's a cake. Give me I a mean, second. Aerith obviously knows that it's cloud, but yeah. Well, what did I tell you? Yeah, it costs you an arm and a leg, right? <laughs> And pretty much black. She still tries to give him a moment to express himself, which is good though. Stop. Yeah, all the fucking stuff where it's like they show off that he can jump around like that. Sweep a prototype, get fucked. Dude, the fucking part with the high fives, like this whole section, I just think is fucking cute. Like it, it does kind of like build up the kind of relationship between both of them because they do have a solid relationship. I wonder if someone you know, blocked it off. They're really good friends because and so on. And obviously there's other feelings there, though it didn't go anywhere. But yeah. That's supposed to be a compliment. Yeah, definitely, Phantom. I mean, Cloud is just kind of in a really weird fucked up place where he doesn't really know what the fuck is going on. He doesn't know where his feelings lay, what he like. It's just there's a lot of shit there where he's. He's two people, basically. He's he's in this spot where he's still. Pretty much like a fucking kid, you know, but I don't know, it's just it's a weird mixture. Because he's not really sure where the fuck he's at. He's not sure what's going on. He's not sure, like, how he actually feels. He's trying to impersonate somebody else while also mixing it with his own feelings. And, like, his mind's just not able to handle it. So there's just a lot of weird shit there. And Cloud, his feelings for Aerith, are they his feelings or are they Zach's feelings? I think, honestly, there's a little bit of a mixture where I think like he originally kind of probably had a, a good chunk of Zax, though. I don't think he really knows that this is Aerith, like the one that Zax was talking about. Um, I don't really know exactly Looks where like that lands, but I don't think he's on that side of really knowing where that sits yet. That does come up to a little bit more later on. But yeah. Forgot, I think I had to go back and round it up. I think she has to be down here, but I have to go up here and up the ladder, if I remember. Yeah, because I don't think that he really went too far into it. He probably just was like, I have a girl back home, whatever. 
because like when Cloud is sitting on the the jungle gym thing, she mentions Zack and then he like freaks out and doesn't hear her say Zack because he's trying to blank out the word Zack because he doesn't remember Zack even being a thing. He thinks Zack is him. So that's where like when that hits, there's just a whole bunch of weird shit there. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. I probably could. All right, there we go. Yeah, it sells flowers and stuff. So like he should have been able to grab it and like figure out, oh, this is probably the same person. But I mean, he also might just be like, it could be anybody. There's a bunch of people. Oh, look, just leaving her hanging again. <laughs> look at her face. Yeah, like it did block a lot. So like maybe he just doesn't even know, oh, no. you know, I Look. he doesn't show any I feeling for that. So Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's where it's like he just has a mixture. Well, There's just a lot of stuff where some stuff is him, some stuff isn't. Um, okay, Go ahead and do this. I don't even really need to do anything with these things over here, but I'll go ahead and do this. Off a ride. Yeah, so like he remembers Tifa, but feels familiar with Aerith. It's definitely a thing. Eh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm just going to do this. It's like I already have like all the items and stuff here. I okay, think one right of the other there. materials is good because I think Magnify comes up next. Hold on while I drop the ladder. Thanks, Sarah. What can I do without you? All right, let's go. Cloud, over here. No shit. The fuck do you think I'm doing? I'm literally climbing up the ladder. <laughs> I swear, Aerith. All right. Well, jumping's not an option. Uh, That's for Kyrie sure. shows up. Hmm. I think. Look. She shows up soon. Someone made a campfire. I think like they in two chapters, down. one chapter, so two chapters. Oh my god. Oh god. I see that people have recommended stuff on Throne. Actually, I'm kind of curious. What did you guys put on here? Uh. <laughs> Fucking kazoos. All right. <laughs> hmm. Which one do we do? Custom and printed kazoos? Holiday kazoos? Just a bunch of other kazoos. <laughs> Goddamn picks. <laughs> Fuck. I swear, Pix just fucking defragmenting my fucking computer. <laughs> Hi, Pix. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and accept these. What those? You know what? Fuck it. I'll I'll just accept all of them. Why not? There's just a bunch of options. <laughs> There's a bunch of options. <laughs> yeah, just sitting here, mind your business, ripping ass in my chat, fix. God. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you for the follow, Keystone. Welcome on in. How you doing, Cyrus? Hope your day's going well. 
<laughs> See, even mom said you're a fart. <laughs> she definitely wasn't talking to me. Nope. Nope. Of course not. Never would. Uh, where was the talking spot we had to go here? Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Cool. No, it said you because I was talking about picks and then you showed up. So she's like, you're a fart. Whoa, not too fast. Okay? <laughs> Got it. It's going pretty fucking good, Cyrus. I'm having a good fucking time with it. I love playing this game and I love being able to show it off. <laughs> I mom, I don't know if you've ever watched picks, but uh, that ain't true. That ain't true at all. <laughs> she defragments quote unquote so often <laughs> love you mom <laughs> and this respect anybody around uh and these boys are fun it's too mm. it's still warm should we relight it? Huh. Our own campfire? It's still warm. It's literally smoking. <laughs> I need to get back. Besides, look okay, here. fine, Mom. This is what we want to do, Mom. We're just having fun. <laughs> Compensatory damages. How stupid can you This fucking music. <laughs> Compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. yeah, at least they're wearing face masks. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, don't be like that, pigs. Yeah. Mom we made deviled eggs. <laughs> uh, a <lively> story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, what? Do recompense. It's like uh it's like uh Compensatory damages. Compensatory damages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I, 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 <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something like that, mom. See how it is. Dude, this fucking music though. I fucking love it. Death down. He stole 80 gil. No. Whatever will I do? Okay, guys. Whatever you do, don't move. Just don't look. Don't look. Just don't look. I'm super dead. I like that you can move him too. <laughs> I just fucking love these guys. <laughs> oh, it's great. Yeah, definitely Friday night fucking. I just the, the the fucking music in this game is fucking great. I just fucking love this whole game in general. I don't remember, was this the way that we came in? I feel like this is the way we came in. Yeah. <laughs> Picks! <laughs> I swear it was the deviled eggs, honest. I don't know what's happening. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I fucking swear. Away, you guys. Don't leave me. I'm coming. <laughs> I fucking love these guys. They're great. I mean, yeah, you're in here, Pix. Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? <laughs> you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? Any soldier friends? War buddies? Aw. Oh, she's getting there. She's asking questions. And he's like, no, I didn't. 
God damn, picks. Oh, oh, picks. <laughs> God, I swear, you guys. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Pix is like, no, oh, you did it. You did it. Whoever smelt it dealt it. Uh. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, <laughs> putting sausages. Got God. It. Beans, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, I have no nose to smell with, right? <laughs> down, 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 down. Uh, why was this not landing there again? Ah, there we go. I was just off a little bit. I mean, right? I'm getting blamed for Pix's farts. It's horrible. Um, and we'll go ahead and do this part. <laughs> no, I'm going to blame you, Pix. I'm going to keep blaming you every time you fart. See? Oh. Oh. Oh, Pix. Oh. God. <laughs> you come into my house. On this, the day of my tinfoil gaming. <laughs> and you rip ass like this. <laughs> Pix, what the fuck? <laughs> I appreciate you though. <laughs> Thank you, Pix. Thank you for coming into my fucking stream and ripping fucking ass. <laughs> we appreciate picks here, honest. Honest and truly, everyone. We really do. <laughs> God, get pants grabbed. <laughs> You're gonna fucking get Rama upset. All right, go ahead and do this. And, uh, <laughs> time to pet Aerith. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Thank you, pig. Even though Pix is fucking ripping ass and you're still. <laughs> Everybody in chat is, apparently. I just like tormenting the fuck out of Aerith. <laughs> yeah, I've had Taco Bell for dinner, right? Probably fine with it happening to me. I'm probably. Honestly, probably. I'm giving Aerith head pats. She likes it. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the biddies. Much appreciated. Thank and yeah, you Rama can pants grab you. I bet. For you in a sec. Them high quality dragon pants grabs. This fucking music, though. It's a fucking bop. Damn. And there's uh, a good material over there if you go and do the whole moving boxes around and all that. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess if you hit that level fine uh, bow trade, I'll read you a story. Well, we fucking Pix defragments in the back. <laughs> hey, Pix, thank you for the fucking 10. Don't worry. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, thank you, Cyrus, as well. Thank you for the fucking gift subs, everybody. 
<laughs> you guys are fucking great. I fucking love you. <laughs> yeah, a story. The fucking disrespect, right? I'm the worst. Fix is just like, I thought we were friends, and this is how you treat me. <laughs> yes, we have a fart train, God. Yeah, tomorrow is Torment Me Day. Tomorrow's Dixper. You can fucking torment away. Have fun. <laughs> torment this bone boy. <laughs> Love and appreciate you all. Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, thank you, Tom. <laughs> oh, look at this. How long do we sit and wait? Oh, fucking Arctic. Arctic. Thank you for the fucking 20, you fucking man. <laughs> uh, thank you so fucking much. <laughs> for for milk so trade. Uh, and arm. Uh, thank you so fucking much, dude. <laughs> oh, don't leave me hanging. Is it even your final form? Aw oh, shit. The aliens. Give me some skin. <laughs> As picks? Yeah, I bet. Slowly well fuck, I appreciate it so fucking much. <laughs> Now must taunt Arctic to finally show final oh, form. <laughs> skin for the bone god. Indeed, indeed. Give me some skin. I wonder how long we're gonna let her sit there. <laughs> Holy fucking MJ. MJ! Ah, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> the spine. My in love with I put it up on the fucking high end ones because like nobody's gonna fucking do that. <laughs> oh, fucking MJ! Scare me! Oh, fucking shit! Oh, fuck, dude, MJ. Holy fucking shit, I appreciate you so much. <laughs> hey, Howie, thank you for the vibe as well. <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. God damn. I appreciate all you mother... <laughs> God damn it. Ah, uh, you're amazing. You're fucking amazing. I appreciate you. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Now I gotta go find a fucking song or a fucking story. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Thank you guys so fucking much, though. Honestly, I couldn't fucking do any of this shit without you. Makes me so fucking happy. All right. All right. Not fucking bad. Not fucking bad. Uh, actually, is this one that I've done before? Hmm. Let me see. Oh, I wonder if that one's okay. I think we're probably okay with this one. Join my army of the dead. Hmm. Do some skinwalker stuff. <laughs> Bone milk when though? Right. <laughs> For those going to bed, you're going to have a bedtime story indeed. So, honestly, hey, you're perfectly fucking fine, MJ. You're fucking amazing. Thank you so fucking much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Free Aerith, right? We'll, we'll go ahead and give her a high five after. <laughs> All right, we'll read uh, Skinwalkers. We'll go ahead and see how that one works out. So, uh, Skinwalkers by Hypo Escarpia. <laughs> Actually, I guess we should probably let the hype trade finish first. But yeah, Aerith is just sitting there, high, you know, hand up in the air, waiting for a fucking high five, you know? <laughs> Yeah, definitely, Phantom. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate you. 
Every time that we finish up a level five hype train, I, I read you a story. So I just have some random creepy pastas and stuff like that. And uh, so I figure we'll we'll go ahead and read through some. <laughs> hey, Pix, thank you. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. I wonder if I should do that one or if I should do. What was this one? Hmm. Burning Man, maybe? Hmm, uh, one or two. D who's Doug, right? <laughs> we all love Doug here. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Get your sub revoked? Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you guys so fucking much. I appreciate you. <laughs> two fucking two. All right, um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> hey, Pinky, thank you for the fucking sub too. Who is Doug? <laughs> Who is Doug? I wonder. No tame, only chaos. All right. Oh, let's actually read this one. I'm just going to grab Burning Man. It's a little bit longer. We'll run it. <laughs> we'll hop back over here. We'll be over here for this. Chaos Booter, right? Yes, Burning Man by Hypoobscorpia. I woke up to a highly irregular smell in my house. The kind that leaves your nostrils wanting more, but not necessarily because they like it. A morbid curiosity of the nasal regions, I suppose. I arose with great caution, the scent like a bizarre siren's call, an alluring stench of roasted flesh and burnt hair. I grabbed the knife from under my pillow and ventured forth into the living room. I found the Burning Man sitting quite comfortably on my couch, smoking what appeared to be a camel light. He nodded politely and beckoned for me to join him in the roaring inferno. Come, sit, he said. I am a Burning Man. I nodded. You are, I said. I can tell. His flesh was a heavy shade of charcoal black, haphazardly crisscrossed by pinkish lacerations oozing yellow liquid. He stared at me for a while, puffing uselessly on a cigarette that had turned to ash long ago. Uh, the flames licked the walls and ceiling and floor in erratic bursts of energy, but seemed strangely uninterested in anything but the man. I am you, he said, burnt to a crisp in a hellish blaze. Quite, I nodded. And how are you here? He shrugged, sparks of liquid flame flying everywhere. These things are inexplicable, like catching a drop of rain with your spleen. Let me rephrase then. Why are you here? To warn me of this ill-fated doom? He shook his head. An ear came off, landing softly on my priceless Persian rug. We both wrinkled our brows at this. Not so, the Burning Man said. I am here to inform you that our fatal inc uh, incineration is the best possible outcome. Surely you jest, I spat angrily. What a preposterous notion. Why must we perish in the fire? What do I know? He chuckled. I'm dead. Before I had the chance to unleash an avalanche of counter-arguments, the burning man disintegrated, a thick cloud of ash hovering for a split second before disappearing. A hallucination, then, I said to no one except maybe myself. We knew it was only a matter of time. I ignored the black stain on the couch for days until I fell asleep one evening smoking a camel light. The cigarette resting unsteadily on the spot where the burning man had sat. Moments later, the couch was aflame, and I found myself in need of evacuation. Should I stay? I asked the roaring inferno. I did not. I fled the premises, minutes later spectating whilst my beautiful home burned down to the ground. I was visited once more by the burning man. In my less than spacious prison cell, I awoke to the same alluring scent of flesh and burnt hair, and found his fiery persona sat next to me. Best possible outcome, he smiled, still smoking his ash cigarette nonchalantly. Had I known they would find the corpses, I said, I would have joined the flames. He chuckled heartily. Lighten up, he said. <laughs> so yes, there you go. Story time. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty much the whole like, oh, you know. <laughs> Ah, damn. 
fucking light a match or apparently a fucking whole person. <laughs> yes, picks. It ended on a pun. <laughs> now lighten up. <laughs> Yes, honestly, hey, thank you very much, Cole. I appreciate you. And thank you, fucking Anonymous, for the sub and everything. You guys are fucking great. I appreciate you all so fucking much. Give me some skin. All right. Are we ready to go back and uh, maybe possibly give Aerith a high five? <laughs> uh, uh, um, we're say so here. Uh, <laughs> we don't know what that sound means. I swear. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Give me some skin. You guys are all fucking amazing. Honestly, thank you so fucking much for everything you guys do. Slowly losing circulation and arm. Slowly losing circulation and arm. All right, all right, all right. We'll go I'll ahead and help out Aerith. <laughs> here we go. Oh, look at his arm. Oh, no, that was too hard for me. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh. Almost, almost, almost. Oh, God, that was too hard. Give me some skin. Whew. Okay. Whew. Try it again. Uh, come on. Must lift hand. Ah, uh. oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give not tea for that high five, right? Wow. Listen to the music. This is that slow fucking drone. Right in. All right, there it is. The <laughs> right. Opened. God had a fucking high five. Good shot. How do we open it? <laughs> oh, right, Adion. Right. Sound good? No, I don't have time. Up for there looks nice. God, she's so pushy. <laughs> Yeah, fucking like awfully convenient target. I'll consider giving it a fucking try, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> Take his tin hat away. <laughs> Don't scold me, Mom, I swear. So Cloud, you were a soldier. I got a backbone, I can handle it. <laughs> yeah. No skin off my bones. Really? What's weird about it? <laughs> Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? This the part. Guy I ever left. This fucking part. Right? <laughs> What's his name? Dude, the remake's fucking oh, amazing. No. I love it. This part. Right there. Still can't fucking hear her say Zach. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, if I, Cyrus, I work my fingers to the bone to make sure that you guys enjoy it. <laughs> uh, your eyes. Dude, the remake's so oh. fucking good. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have They did so fucking well with it. I fucking love this yeah. game. I know. Sorry. I'm bumming you out. We should Wow, go. Mom. <laughs> Mom just out here fucking threatening oh, violence. Not back. Yeah, this this scene hit hard for separate reasons because like there's there's just so fucking much to it. But the best part is this. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Look at this boy. He can have fun. We're giving Cloud fun. <laughs> That's why it's the reason why I'm getting this game. 
Oh, I fucking love this. Cloud deserves all the entertainment he can get. Giving Cloud a child. <laughs> wow, mom, I swear. The message was not a stress to you. <laughs> we also have this over here. <laughs> Cloud could just have a good old fucking time. He's enjoying himself, chat. <laughs> you can have fun. Honestly, I'm super fucking excited for the golden saucer. I really want to see what happens with that. All right, all right, fine. Here. This won't take long. Honestly, yeah, he had a great fucking childhood right there, right? Your gamble. <laughs> Ready. Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. Alright. Yeah, so uh I'm gonna go through and play the whole thing of this. And I haven't played integrate yet, so once we finish the game, I'm gonna play integrate. And that'll be something I haven't so, seen before. I've seen through all of this before, and we're gonna go, go tinfoil ahead. hat. We're gonna fucking explain all the weird theories about this game, all that gonna shit. Be okay, getting home. Cause uh, um, there's a lot of shit I need to talk about. I'll go with you. <laughs> I thought you needed to get back. Dude, right, Doug? The music is amazing. <laughs> Hands worry. fucking down. The music is amazing. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. Then, like, why didn't we take it? <laughs> Let me go over here. <laughs> I think so. I think integrate is only for PS5, but uh, I have that, so we're all good. <laughs> yep, let's yeah. go. Yeah, trolling them so fucking hard, right? Here we go. Let's see our girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Best girl coming up. Damn, look at her. Damn. I thought we'd lost. Damn. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to the same. Same. Meet up with the gang. Damn. But ah. <laughs> You've seen how much ass I can kick? Damn fucking right. I have. <laughs> like, hey, you've seen how much ass I can kick? It's like, true. You, you, good. You good. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> fucking you fix, I swear. You and Rama both. <laughs> She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. <laughs> Need a no, cold no, shower? No, no, no. Fuck. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to Thirsty make Jesse. A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. <laughs> indeed, Pix, indeed. Her? You have to help her. Um, I think I've probably streamed. So I've streamed like four hours today, and I think it was like five, maybe six hours last time. So something like that, but Come on, Cloud. We gotta I'm going to run through the whole thing. So you're more than, and I mean, I had the VODs up as well. So if you want to go and like wander through the VODs, that's always a thing, but definitely worth hanging out for whatever you can. I appreciate you regardless though. Like how they have like random fucking stamp signs still stamp is fucking everywhere. Red's best girl fight me. God. The Naki fucking looking uh, rather fancy in that fucking sailor outfit, I'm sure. Yeah, it's already been four hours. Because we had to do fucking side missions the whole fucking day. Hey there. <laughs> where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. Uh, damn. 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 <laughs> I don't know you. What's your story? 
<laughs> That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? I guess we want to save save her from a life without this handsome guy. Oh. So that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. <laughs> this girl, what's she look like? Well, I like these fucking options, by the way. <laughs> look at it. She's in great shape. She's a great fighter. Or she's great at handling the books. <laughs> like, what's she look like? I don't know. She's good at handling books. <laughs> What's she look like? She's a great fighter. What's she look like? Ah, she's in great shape. <laughs> yeah, the dog tag guy from FF15. Yeah. I, just, I mean, it's just the way that his fucking set up here. It's like, really? Like, come on now. <laughs> she's got them book handling hips, you know? <laughs> Gonna go, uh, she's in great shape. We'll go, she's in great shape. She's in great shape. Is that really important? <laughs> Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a big Yeah, right. Push. Hate to break your heart, kid. But it's gonna be a long while. <laughs> Fucking Spike Spiegel, like right? What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Haven't scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. Oh shit. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Of course. Do what you gotta. But leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't choked if I was confused, right? Yeah, like what the remake offers in uh, modern Final Fantasy gameplay. I mean, yeah, like storytelling is great. The fucking personality, everything like they just do so fucking well, just putting it all in there. So uh, it's, it's pretty fucking solid. Hey, you help. Yeah, and that's the thing where it's like, you know, she kind of fucking knows, Doug. She kind of fucking knows. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple and I love this section. It's good. basically Put just Yakuza fucking Final Fantasy. On the side even, whatever you're into, we got you. Wall Market's a fucking great. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. <laughs> and of course, right because reasons, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Maybe it's broken? <laughs> the fact that they have this fucking thing in here where you can still fucking go try to mess with the item shop. Any item you can think of, yeah, where's Kiryu, right? You can go wander around up here. Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? Ooh, this enchanted evening, you say? For a sweet looking couple like you. Uh, how much? Ah, uh, <laughs> how much? Cloud. <laughs> Just give me a holler. <laughs> the fucking cloud. <laughs> I fucking swear. Hey there. We're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. Oh, that's not sketch at all. We're a pharmacy, but we also stock uh, smelling salts. <laughs> Fuck you, Ashley. Yeah, right, dog. It's just you do normal thing, normal, normal stuff. Nothing, nothing to see here. Nope, nope. Of course not. Nope. God, just like how much shit they have in this place. I mean, like, look at this place.
We'll go over here. This is it. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. Not ready to open? Fuck you. <clears throat> go over here. Yeah, so many fucking people wandering around, right? So, that thing I was talking about earlier. <gasps> she looked familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey, what the hell, Merc? <laughs> Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Uh, well, no, I can't yet, Pigs. I'm gonna try to, though. To I'm gonna try to do that tonight. I, girl. I come here at night to live the dream. But the fact that the teacher is actually I'd here. I if you didn't tell the children, okay? So... Just side note, I love the fact that they actually took a character from a different section and brought her over here. That gives her realism. I mean, like, I think basically the fact that she's actually doing something with her life. She's doing something other than just watching after kids, you know? So, I don't know. I just think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, fucking bees, right? It's it's not that bad, Hootie. I I understand. I completely understand. <laughs> but yeah, it's just bee costumes, not actually bees. We got the fucking dress, dude. <laughs> but hey, you never know. Hey there. Are you looking for anything in particular today? Dude, honestly, Doug, I don't know, but uh. I do want to get a 3D model that can do that kind of stuff. So maybe we'll figure something out with it. <laughs> Anybody's anybody remember who that boy is? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to. I'm going to go bother uh, Art Gun whenever they open up. And uh, I have a 3D model. It's just not done yet, but I don't think it ever will be. So it's it's at a spot that's usable now, but not as much as I would like. Um, I'll get another 3D model at some point. Even if Archon doesn't take it, I'll get somebody else to. Um, but yeah, we should see what happens there. But this fucking boy. Uh, to enter or not to enter. Come on now, Johnny. Yeah, still the skeletal frame, right? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Ah, oh, I wonder. <laughs> do we agree or disagree? Ho <laughs> ho What do you think, chat? <laughs> yeah, right. Better look behind you, right? <laughs> no sympathy? No? Hell yeah, agree? Ah, oh, man, we're kind of tied right now. Huh? 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 Tell him no. Alright, we got a few more no's than yeses. We'll do no. Yeah, I should have figured. You're not the philosophical, <laughs> introspective type like me. That soft, naive face. I know you're kind well, bro. God. You're just another muscle head who uses violence to work through your inner demons. Uses it's violence it. to work through your inner demons. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Seems God fucking right. damn it. Tifa, my love, my light. Who are you? Johnny, you, know <laughs> you better yeah, fucking yeah, watch yeah. out. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why. Oh, God, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She kicked looking oh, for me, God. To me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you. <laughs> fucking Johnny, I swear. Ooh, this fucking boy. Nobody you want or need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Philosophical, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Nobody needs to know. Just get rid of Johnny right now and the problem solved. Right? Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> if only he would actually fucking say something, right, Doug? <laughs> but hey, at the end of the day, he doesn't even fucking need to do anything. It's pretty obvious that fucking Tifa's all over him. Well, the thing is, Johnny's been around in the original game, too. He showed up in the first section. He was there when you first went to Seventh Heaven. And then he was also there next to the Honey Bee Inn. 
and he was also there in Costa del Sol. Like he he shows up through the game. So he's going to do that here, too. They're just making it more obvious that he's there. So Johnny's always been in the game. <laughs> just not as much. And Johnny's just like Johnny's crushing hard on Tifa, but Tifa doesn't like him. So he's just all fucking like, maybe I'll get her to like me. Maybe she'll notice me like all this kind of shit. But it, she's all over fucking cloud. She doesn't give a fuck. So, yeah. And yeah, this boy. This is uh, so a guy from buddy. the Kids Are All Right book, I think. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're Good old Leslie and uh, Kyrie. Yes. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah. So, so people can't she just honestly walk through great. the front door, especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna. He just drinks at the bar, pretty much. You no, know Leslie. She's kind of cute. Homely, but cute. Excuse you. Kind of cute, it's not gonna cut it. <laughs> kind of cute, it's not gonna cut it. Can't you help us out? Damn. Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud? <laughs> permission to kill. Oh, yeah. shit. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should yeah, know that they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Well, damn. All right, yeah, definitely. See you later, Red. Thanks for dropping in. And uh, by all means, like I said, VODs are there if you feel like it. So, you know, go ahead and uh, jump over there and give them a shot whenever. Aerith, you sure about this? <laughs> yeah. Got any better ideas? Not really. So that's the way it is. Mm. Fucking Johnny, I swear, dude. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval. God, of this fucking trio. boy. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa. Help is on the way. Johnny's coming, baby. <laughs> <laughs> The sharpest tool in the shop, nope. Is he? Not at all. Nope. This boy is, uh, he's Johnny. We'll put it that way. <laughs> and yeah, nothing wrong with that at all, Red. As long as it works out for you, that's what matters. Going oh, double checking here. I don't remember if there's anything I can do over here. Boy singing, having a good time. Oh, there's this guy here that's trying to go to the bathroom. Shit, these are high stakes, <laughs> Shit, are high stakes man. Like, zoinks, man. I feel like shit. <laughs> Been holding it in all game, right? All right. Let's get ourselves over here. Go down here, maybe check the restaurant, see if I can go and grab myself a bite to eat. Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. So you can't get the items, um, but you can kind of like still go to the same places. Why not? I think I have to come back here for the quest. I don't think I can do it normally. Try the recommended special. If you want a recommendation, just fucking try the recommended thing. God damn it. But at least they kind of still show the same general area. I don't think there was anything. Oh, yeah. I think I have to go over here. And like this thing over here is where you can get the uh, tiara stuff at. This boy just having a good old time. All I got is materia. It's like all I got's materia. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I think it's in five. 
I think I think Walmart gets five, right? Yeah. Can't win it in the honeybee, right? right? All right, so we got one more down. Let's go ahead and go wander ourselves over here, probably. I think we got to go back to uh, Sam first, but yeah. Between six and seven. Yeah, I can see that. Because I think it was under the fifth, but. And why would I do that? No. I gotta go double check. I don't even fucking remember. You're a man of many talents. <laughs> a man of many talents. Of Dude, honestly, yeah. Like when they had that part there, it was a fucking thing. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? You get rejected? Shit. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. This is how it goes. <laughs> this place is dramatic as fuck. Good evening. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market. The honey. Yeah, time to get honey. extra. That's in a little bit. Is there a honey boy or girl But it is going to be soon. You desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. Yeah, it's like, ah, uh, appointments? Nah. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest yeah. available fucking three years. Three, three fucking years. years. All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless <laughs> of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Yeah, three years. You, really you can wait, way? right? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well. It's like, well, Let's we tried. Time to go home, right? <laughs> I mean, I could see that. I guess if you're fucking busy enough, right? If you're fucking popular enough, you fucking run it. Okay, I think let's go back to Sam, I think. Like, yeah, you can actually wait three years. And I'm also not. not <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit, Black. Nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio. Dude, I'm super hoping the that they the the They have the models for this game now. So hopefully the really? next stuff is a little bit quicker. Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around. So, put your name in the hat. Next time happens, next sure. Time can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa. She's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know. He might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? <laughs> sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Mm, fucking coin. Call it, Missy. Ed. Heads or tails, I wonder. I wonder. I'll grant you your wish. Cowboy Sam Elliot. Yeah. Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Heads, tails, or no deal. <laughs> Heads, tails, no deal. <laughs> Heads or tails on being human trafficked, right? When they had to start over because of mismanagement. Yeah, and that's the thing where it's like at least they they have a setup now. They have like the game out and they're able to work on the next pieces. They already have stuff. They and the fact that they have the models and everything done for this already means that they can just take stuff and then yeah, the coins rigged. It's both head uh both tails or heads or whatever it is. Uh if you do no deal, it's like ha, huh, that's a fake coin and whatever. But um <laughs> they at least have the stuff there. They have all the pieces 
to make the next game already, or at least most of the pieces. So it's not like they have to redo models and everything. So it makes it quicker. I think let's do no deal. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am heads. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Aerith, I swear. <laughs> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. It's like I'm trying to help you, I swear. Cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skip daddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? <laughs> yup. <laughs> the fucking fike. Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating. <laughs> That's cheating. That's the that bastard. Way. How could he? Still cheating. <laughs> Still cheating, god damn motherfucker. Skadaddle, skadoodle. <laughs> Cornea doesn't watch your noodle. Indeed. They're so angry. Get fucked, Johnny. Man, look at him go. You okay, Johnny? You okay, you okay buddy? Aw, oh, you're so angry. What are you so angry for? Buddy, Johnny. Oh, Johnny's been had. <laughs> She's a siren. I tell you. <laughs> I mean, right, Doug? Oh, hello. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you. Step right up. Now that this fucking scene, I swear. Or at least I think this is the next part. Hey, what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can Time for a little relief, eh? A terrible strain. Eh, hey, my. to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> <laughs> I like how fucking obvious it is. Skilled ministrations of a professional. So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. She's so angry! Uh, yeah, self-care is important, well, chat. Self-care is very important. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll <laughs> let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside <laughs> and shot for wasting my body? So angry! <laughs> hmm. Name? Yeah, you want that outfit? I can see it. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <laughs> Even through the fucking glove, right? The strong, firm hands of a fighter. But they possess a certain Hey, Kervis! Thank you for the follow! Welcome on in! Okay. <laughs> Alright, Megiddo. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. Like, it's like, so I'm enjoying this. Will it be? So we can go, like, not today? We could be a pole man. We could get the stand, of course. But of course, here, we value the finer things. We enjoy luxury, especially when we have 510,000 gil. <laughs> Look at how much money we have up in the top right. We don't fucking care. <laughs> luxury it is. <laughs> make your way to the room in the back. Enjoy chat. Cloud? This gets like look at her, she's like cloud. 
This exclusive oh my. is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. Yeah, calling in Rama. <laughs> Ramaya, <laughs> are you here? <laughs> Fucking pics, are you here? <laughs> for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Listen to his fucking sounds. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Indeed, Doug. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation. It's Get so fucking lewd, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> they tried so hard. Stress is poison to the body. <laughs> and finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more <laughs> Look away, mom! <laughs> Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? <laughs> I fucking swear this game. And she just walks out and he's just like, uh. If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. Like the music and everything in the background. It's just like, goddamn, they know what they were fucking doing. <laughs> How was it? Huh? Look at him. He's just so like, huh? And then also you start playing as this. Okay? Yeah. Look at Cloud. Look You're at acting weird, Cloud. I am. <laughs> really weird. <laughs> He's drained, right? Think you'll make a habit of it? <laughs> he doesn't know what to All fucking right do. I think I've seen everything I need to see. <laughs> so, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. Cloud, you okay, buddy? Sure you're okay? Yeah. <laughs> sure you're okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, post clarity. Oh, thank you for the stretch. Much appreciated. Uh, yes, always need to do the luxury massage. I mean, who doesn't uh, like a good massage, eh? <laughs> you're one of the trio, right? I yeah, 5k for just a hand. Audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm. <laughs> Need a massage, right? Really? But you cannot. That's pretty much it, like Doug. Huh? Oh yeah, like I, it, I can see it. Honestly, massages are fucking good. Get up. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? Ah, yeah, I get you. So all right looks comfortable matter what i think they're like holy shit yeah i actually wanted to like <laughs> i wanted to fucking do massages as a job when i was a fucking like i i don't know why like <laughs> it was just one of the things where i was like yeah i could be a fucking masseuse why not uh it's all right looks comfortable matter what i think um we could just be like, matter what I think, and try to push the fucking Tifa out. I don't remember if that actually works or not, though. Ah, let's do this one. It matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, <laughs> yeah, what right. should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put yes. the dress so I need to make Aerith sad so I can be with Tifa. <laughs> so long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. I mean, you want to so fucking listen, bet? I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Ooh. Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, <laughs> I'll right, Doug. I'm sorry. <laughs> drop dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> Yes, for the person who got you in. So, 
What do you say? I'm ready to right. fuck some shit up. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting. Yeah, too bad you can't flash bling, right? Run along. <laughs> Make it seem like we're fucking poor, and I'm just like, ah, I'm good. Why don't we got yeah, the outfit's good. really fancy. Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. Oh, easy. Don't to get too cocky. Nah, I'm good. No fucking issues whatsoever. <laughs> Pretty much where this goes. Uh, I think it's up here. Hey, Sol, how you doing? I'm gonna get a shout out for Sol. It'd be appreciated. Souls is another uh, DVD streamer, does some uh, CT stuff like that. What's Good tabs. You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope to you know you're cutting it real, cut it real close. close indeed, so right? Two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. <laughs> Fucking Aerith, I swear. Audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right. Team it Dude, right, Boru? I'm Head super fucking way excited way to get to that. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, though, MJ. Like I said, I'm gonna have to fucking steal you. And then somebody's gonna get fucking angry. <laughs> so, how deep does this thing go? I'm proud of you for fucking being such a good mod, though. <laughs> I wonder how many people are fighting. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus. Like you should. All right, let's fuck this shit up. Hey, this music kind of reminds me of like Final Fantasy X, sorta. Okay, yeah, let's do this. We bid you the warmest of welcomes. <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond? Yeah, milk and cookies there. indeed. Here in the Corneo Coliseum! <laughs> Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil. And there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents. Thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit black. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the kill and the glory. And now, the long awaited vision with the blood star feet will battle for your amusement. Oh, yeah, yo! Every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. Yeah, all right, Zex. Fucking Corneo Cop. Here we go. Dramatic as fuck. Wow. This place is really something. Really something, huh? You two, wait here until it's time. All right, we'll go hang out in here then. Go ahead and take a quick break. Sit down on this bench. <laughs> All right, MJ. Oh yeah, I probably should save, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Go in here. Oh, Johnny. Hey, bud, you get your ass kicked? Yeah, you got your ass kicked. Your face. <laughs> hey, thank you for the hydrate. Signed up for the preliminaries. I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Yeah. Honestly, it was a pretty fucking solid part. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. All right. We're in way too deep to back out now. Oh yeah, and then there's this. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it. <laughs> rare and to go for hours on end. Oh. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. 
Do we drink it and have uh, enough energy for hours? Do we taste it or do we leave it? Do you think we're good enough on our own? I don't know. What do you think, chat? Do you think we taste the weird ass fucking shit the cordio brought or do you think we just go in and do our shit on our own? Yeah, the fucking background music is fucking amazing. Oh, we got one for don't, one for do. Oh, okay. We got another for drink it. All right. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> you guys are bouncing back and forth hard. <laughs> Don't only because I think it's funnier. <laughs> Do it. I mean, I think we got to be rare to go for hours, don't we? <laughs> Fine, we'll put up a poll. You know what? Yeah, sure. We'll give we'll give him a poll. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna give Liz the chance. <laughs> I mean, true, it could be dragon milk. <laughs> I do still really want to get that fucking beer, the like dragon milk beer or whatever. I just want to fucking try it. <laughs> Bone milk. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Honestly, I really want to fucking try it. All right, where are we sitting? Ooh, this is kind of fucking even. Never mind, it started to tip. Ooh. Ooh, where's it going? Where's it? Round and round it goes. Where it stops, no one knows. <laughs> All right, all right. Looks like you guys are pushing hard on the yes. <laughs> hey, thank you very much for the follow, Zara. Welcome on in. Yeah, Jim Wilder to chill with the boat ride prime. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. It's looking like it's probably going to be yes. <laughs> Fucking cat piss. Never stink. Welcome on in. <laughs> How you doing? I mean, fuck yes, Rama. <laughs> yeah, but what if it's poison? Not much. How about you? Hopefully your day's going well. We're just waiting to see if we drink the milk or not. <laughs> we drinking that mystery drink? <laughs> yeah, it's uh fucking Rama's tier three. It's so fucking good. <laughs> oh damn, you guys are Oh, his nose are coming back. Oh, it's fucking tied now. Ooh. Oh, very barely oh shit. <laughs> hey cat. Thank you for the fucking bits on that and fucking Cole going in on channel points. Fuck oh, yes. You guys fucking push that close. Not fucking bad. Not fucking bad. <laughs> Trying to abuse point voting. Hey, it's all it's all good. It's all good. Well, here you go, chat. We're drinking it. Getting cloud that energy. How is it? It's thick. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like it so much you couldn't possibly share, right? <laughs> I like how he just drank it all. It's like, mmm, it's thick. And it's like, yeah, you just drank all of it, didn't you? Mmm. It's thick. <laughs> you two ready? <laughs> <laughs> there you fucking go. Yeah. Guess we see what happens. Hey. Uh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boo! Get lost. Go home. You suck. I love how dramatic this shit is. Up with the pole. Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl. 
<laughs> God, this fucking place. Hey, Doug, thank you very much for the fucking nut. I like dragon milk is the best times two. I approve. I approve of the sub and the fucking recipient. <laughs> All right, all right. You brought animals? Oh, first timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. Yeah, dude, the fucking music in here is great. In this brutal contest between man and beast, this could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Yeah, it looks like Majima, pretty much. Alright, so anyway, <laughs> you weren't really much, huh? <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> also, the fact that they do the fanfare in the fucking Coliseum, best fucking part. <laughs> yeah, I'm also playing with my, uh, because we're more so going for the story here, so... Oh, I guess I can't even show it. I'm playing with my level 50 character, but overall, you know, I'm still able to fuck up some stuff. We can kind of explain some of the, the better things. So none of these things are going to be too much of a challenge. There's going to be a few, but nothing too much. Well, that's one win, Dad. So I'm, yeah, I'm stupidly OP. <laughs> What's wrong? Dude, the, the fucking OG sense. victory pose, though, yeah, sure. with the fucking fanfare. Well, it'll be better in the next yeah. Match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. All right, let's see. Yeah, a lot of cutscenes for someone who dies in 10 seconds, but oh, they're God, all in here bullshit. afterwards. <laughs> oh, that was some bullshit. Yeah, kind of, sort of. I better start looking for a new job. I mean, damn, it wasn't that bad shit. It kind of kicked your ass real quick. Cloud and Aerith. All right. Match will begin All shortly. right. Please make your way to the gate. We got this. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be. Yeah, safe. I know. I'm sorry, Ready Mystic. All right. Remember, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with a little bit of pain. <laughs> I'm going to fuck this shit up. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I get you. Like, fanfare just kind of hits different. Which is why, like, if you have Barrett and he does the whole da 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 thing at the end, it just kind of hits. <laughs> you assholes cost me a fortune. I mean, right, Felix? I mean, fuck, though. It just kind of hits. Ladies and gentlemen, check their pockets. Because they may have already robbed you blind. The most contemptible son of bitches is Here we go. <laughs> I like how it's like try covering your mouth so it doesn't get the fucking smoke in there. <laughs> I mean, why not go again, right? What does just desserts taste like? I like how they bring guns. Yeah. How many times are we gonna do this, old man? <laughs> Not really. Not really at all. Who wants to die? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Get fucked. Da Look at that. <laughs> I like how many times he's been disqualified. <laughs> God, they're already dead. <laughs> Get fucking fucked. I mean, pretty much, Doug. Pretty fucking much. That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did. Uh, give him I did a give him a massage. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <laughs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that. That is one mistake I will never repeat. Oh. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing. Spicy. Andy? <laughs> Andy, this boy. Oh yeah, they had a fling. Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. Yeah, I'm them sure lips though, right? Anything they throw at us. <laughs> Andy, best boy. Dude, honestly, like, I love the honeybee part. They actually did really fucking well with it. By the way, look at these fucking flowers. We're getting fucking flowers outside our fucking dressing room now. Cloud and the hey, guys. Will begin Does this mean I don't <laughs> gossip like dead no more? I don't no gossip more? play dead no more? Does this mean I don't gossip like dead no more? Damn, you two are really something else. <laughs> I could use that kind of muscle in my gang. Kind of muscle in my gang. Dude, right? The whole fucking flower shop. So hungry. Honestly, like the music in here, though, definitely fucking reminds me of like kind of a fan of fantasy penny feel kind of thing. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final <laughs> match. Good to go. Just had a demon inside of this whole time. Pretty fucking much. I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Win it for me. Go out there and Ladies show them. Tonight's thrilling tornado cup filled with unprecedented upsets and drama. Only has only one, one match to go. go. <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so dead. All right. All right. Getting so loud they're going to hear us on the plate. Oh, yeah. What's the the sweethearts who surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. Dude, Jack Steve's the so Steve fucking good, Canada. right? Cloud and Eric! It's like, fine, let's do this. Shit. Yeah, Final Fantasy X. Yeah. How you doing, Alcarn? Hey, Johnny, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. All right, murder machines. What could they possibly be? Ooh, we got two people. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, they're Chocobo Sands champions. Ah, oh. Cutty and Sweepy is kind of a weird name. Okay, yeah, sure. And of course, they're actually murder machines. <laughs> <laughs> Those cheaters. Who will walk away with a one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. Look at this boy. The final match of the Cordell Cup begins now. Yeah, right. Get uh, actually, we'll try this. One more shot. 
Oh, oops. No, I want to do this, not that. <laughs> no, get fucked, Mr. Man. Go ahead and just fucking uh, do that real quick, and uh, no problem. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I completely fucking agree, Megiddo. That next part is going to be a thing. And I don't honestly remember exactly how to do it. So we'll see. My condolences. Oh, kind of. Well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. <laughs> looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. Yeah, it has participation rate in my online class, right? <laughs> There's like, and okay, now, it's a million gil. There's like collect. five fights. Sorry. That's it. Madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they went out, <laughs> then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call. It's like, yeah, he said so. <laughs> we get no, one more so fight. We can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The Dude, this match is like the best thing much. ever. People Honestly, if you guys haven't people. seen this, much heftier than you're in you for a fucking treat. Imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. <laughs> yep. Don't you think I know that? She's so angry. <laughs> you greedy bastard, scum sucking piece of shit festering asshole. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but that's the way it is. Corneo She's so angry. She's right. so angry. But if you want to <laughs> right, <MJ? laughs> Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Yeah, I sure hope so. Fuck. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. Okay. Okay. Also, this part. <laughs> they actually fucking put this boy in here. <laughs> like, why'd they put this shit in here? <laughs> well, then, you sure fix my wagon. I just love the fact that they put him in the fucking waiting room. <laughs> Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Yeah, the fucking junkies. Is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? Yeah, it wouldn't fit in the dumpster. It was like how they put it in the door. Anymore, man. I just want you guys <laughs> to win it all. I don't even care. I just want you Show to win, man. I believe in you, man. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. Okay. Other. And we share your disappointment, this ladies and fight. gentlemen. When we told you that so it was coming to an good. end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's all fucking crazy over it. You're so adorable. You're the man, I love you. <laughs> Aerith, I love you. Marry me. Fucking just like random fucking people just like, you're amazing. An unspeakable horse, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment. The secret story. Yeah, I don't remember what material I even have on on here. Enter. Or if I can switch and fight. I don't remember if I can switch and fight. I might have to switch otherwise. We'll see. 
fucking so many birds. Hell house. <laughs> Let's fuck some shit up, shall we? Ah. <laughs> This fucking house. It's just a house. It's just a house. The fact that they. Everybody's like, how are they gonna put this enemy in the game? Not only did they put the enemy in the game, they made it its own fucking super important fucking boss. You have not. No, sir. You have not. They'll be seen. Right, Vegito. <laughs> I think I need ice on it. Which actually, let me see. Do I have any fucking spells at all? She doesn't have any fucking stuff there. Let's see what kind of fucking shit I can actually do here. Uh. Oh, that's right. I have fucking Algidora. What if I do? <laughs> and it like summons toys and shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. I did have a bunch of shit on her. Okay, um. Fuck, I don't remember for sure which one I actually needed to do. I think it was Arrow. But I don't have Arrow. Fuck it, I'm just gonna fucking hit it with thunder. <laughs> it ate her! It ate Earth! <laughs> no. Not yet. Yeah, the house is actually standing up from it, right? Ladies and gentlemen! What is No! Run away! <laughs> All right, fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> The main problem is just the fact that, like, I mean, like I said, I, I'm kind of OP at this point, but, you know, it is what it is. This boy fucking flies. Chair Salvo Deluxe. Look at what it fucking shoots out at me. It literally fucking shoots fucking chairs. <laughs> and just the fucking way this fucking match is put together. Uh, I forgot. God, maybe we can pop a fire go on it. <laughs> I don't remember what I actually needed to do to get that shield down. Housing shock. <laughs> no. Godhouse mode. No, so many explosions. All right, let's go ahead and have you pop a uh, blizzard on or something. Oh, oops. Not what I wanted to hit, but okay. <laughs> it still worked. It still fucking worked. Yeah, welcome to the housing market, right? Listen to this fucking music, though. It's... Oh, we've got Heaven Sword in here. <laughs> Alright, uh... Fucking hit it with fire. Three. Actually, you know what? Hit that boy there. And then uh, we can go ahead and fucking thunder it. There we go. <laughs> Come on down, boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
Oh, moments before disaster. <laughs> I like the fact that it also hits for 6,000 or 666. Uh, let's do Blizzard up. Boy, stop blocking my shit. Stop it. All right, there we go. Pop a uh, Tempest. And we'll hit him with a Thundera. No, oh, not like this. <laughs> All right. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, we can ATB ward. Why not? We can actually use some of. Never mind. <laughs> She's going away. <laughs> Like I said, Boba support disaster. She's gone. <laughs> Not like this. Stop it. Why are you like this? We'll sit here and pop some shit there. Let's actually, um, Arcane Ward? Let's go ahead and get this up for Arcane Ward. And then with that, we can go ahead and pop a big boy. Let's just fucking do this. <laughs> All right, crippled the left arm. Yeah, right. Daring to get in the way of true love. All right, fuck it up. <laughs> All right, and then fucking thunder. I guess just thunder here. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I never even had the time to cast a gust spell. And like the fact that it just starts going crazy and starts just fucking shit up. <laughs> yeah, we're beating up a house. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Gotta get a condo instead. Oh, there you get the high fucking fives. And champions, Cloud and Aaron. I mean, that's pretty fucking good run, right? Awfully rare, you showing an interest in some. What will you do? Look at this boy. Yeah, the B outfit, right? Damn. 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 There you are. I've been looking for you two. So, Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also nice. hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic. Did it fucking pop up again? If somebody bought some subs, I appreciate you. God, I swear, I need to find out how to get that to have sound. <laughs> I appreciate whoever ended up grabbing some. You're fucking amazing. I need to have it like on a different monitor or something because it's like way over here. All right, let's save quick. But I appreciate whoever did grab some. And if you haven't grabbed any, remember, it's 20% instead of 10% with the code for, uh, I guess, until Monday. Look at all these people. <laughs> hey, Cruz, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. <laughs> I mean, you gotta enjoy it, right, Majid? You even got fucking Johnny's dad here. Congratulations on winning the tournament. You're an impressive fighter. 
I know that you'll be a great influence on my Johnny. Why, you might even end up having a friendly rivalry. You can spread Yeah, friendly rivalry, uh-huh. I can see it. You two will become great friends. The best of friends. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be the best of friends. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so he's like, what? Look at all these people just super fucking happy. <laughs> I like how you get. You know what? I'll give you these both. <laughs> there you go. You get a little bit of spies. <laughs> I do what I want him to do. <laughs> All right, let's save quick. Yeah, you gotta enjoy it. You gotta fucking enjoy it. <laughs> All right, but still, I think that's probably a good place to call it for here. So then we can go ahead and get the dancing in next time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there is the like demon mode with reverb, but I'll probably go ahead and just do like a demon laugh reverb. I could see that one, <laughs> something like that. But I appreciate you guys coming to hang out though. Overall, it was a good run and hopefully you guys had a good time. There's uh, obviously, like I said, there's a lot of little things in there that kind of like piece things together and kazoo reverb. Yeah, I could toss that in too. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that as we're going through, we're going to start noticing is like, OK, this is weird. What the fuck's going on here? There's some stuff happening. And like, obviously, even just for the part of Aerith, where she's noticing things that she shouldn't or she's saying things before she should or like she's just the way when you first went into the church, it was like, OK, well, you know, you're a soldier. You're also a mercenary. You're going to be my bodyguard. And, you know, it's for a date, right? But like none of that came up like there. There was a lot of extra conversation before she said that before. So it's the fact that she didn't have those pieces in there are going to be things we're going to go into further later. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully. Uh, thank you guys for jumping in. I'm glad you, you know, stuck around. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you'll stick around. We're going to find somebody fun to raid and it gets you channel points to do channel point things. And hopefully you like whoever we go to hang out with. And uh, if you're not aware of what tomorrow is we're doing some dead by daylight with dixper dixper streams are fucking hilarious you can fuck with me you can make me do things like standing still messing with my keyboard like you know uh flipping my camera around doing weird jump scare stuff so those things are always amazing and i really hope you guys will have a good time with it tomorrow but that being said let's see who we actually have on as possible people to go and hang out with um <laughs> yeah right Jack is wrecked by chat for two hours then we do normal stuff <laughs> so it is what it is <laughs> but overall it's a fun time and i hope that you guys enjoy it oh hey get crafts how you doing it's been a while yeah i mean it was a fun stream and hopefully you had a good time with yours as well you guys should definitely go and say hi to captain crabs he's a good fucking uh you know person to go hang out with does a bunch of random like music and fucking art shit that's just like doing live 2d models and so on um okay so we either have the option of mass effect uh i think sky is doing animal crossing or let's see we got dresden doing ghost face on dbd um yeah so i'll say uh mass effect animal crossing or dbd what are you guys thinking We'll, we'll give you guys a choice. <laughs> hey, Blue Mage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Thinking DBD? Get you in the mood for some fucking shit tomorrow? Dresden's actually, he's got a really good voice. And he also is really fucking good at Ghostface. So it gives you some spice there. I think we'll go say hi to, uh, we'll go say hi to Dresden. It's, I don't know if I've actually rated him before. But regardless, Dresden is part of the Baka Squad. 
which is the group that I am in. We normally all do DVD stuff, but we have some other, you know, spicy things in there as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy hanging out with him and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you as always for hanging out. And until then, enjoy yourselves and I'll talk to you later.